how's it going? As usual, I wasn't going to stream, but... I don't know, something in me wants to level up a World of Warcraft character, so here we are. Here we are in this exciting world of noob man plays World of Warcraft. Although, I'm going to make a new character again. <laughs> I just want to see what another character's like. Week's going slowly. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? Because the faster you get to the weekend, the faster it's going to be over as well, right? <laughs> it depends why the week is going by slowly. Going slowly because it's boring, then that sucks. If it's slowly because what other reason could there be? I don't know. I'm too tired to think today. Ugh. I might also just suddenly disappear. And if I suddenly do disappear and the stream just ends, I apologize. But uh, yeah, as usual, feeling a bit rough today. But I'm, I don't just want to. Don't just want to lie in bed. So I'm going to sit here and click buttons, and probably get murdered by monsters because I wasn't focusing on something. But I do have my coffee. So we'll see if that gives me a little. A little perk, a perk of awakeness. I don't think it will. I don't think coffee does that to me. I think coffee's just good. It just tastes good, and that's it. Ooh, man. What is up with this November thing? I saw a news article headline about when's the snow gonna arrive in the south of the UK, but then I looked at the weather and it's not cold enough, so I think that was just another um, clickbait, clickbait news article with it's not going to. Maybe if I clicked it, it would say not going to. Man, I hate clickbait articles so much. There are a few gaming news sites that I just don't click on. Because there's ever, this game is free on Steam this week. Just, just put the fucking game title in your in your article title right and maybe i'll click on it to read up about the game i'm not going to click on the article to read what the game is fuckers and that happens every week and usually they lie i feel like there's a difference between this game is free on steam versus this game is free to play this weekend on steam like one assumes you keep it one's basically just a demo those assholes but okay, <laughs> speaking about assholes, should we play some World of Warcraft? Uh, why is my music still on? I thought I muted it. Aha. Uh -huh. Man, I am so in a coma. What is going on with me? I got a bit of sleep, so I don't know what's up. Just I don't know, a stressful week. Stressful week and don't feel well together just puts me, puts me out. I'm completely, completely zoned out. Um, so, we're going to make a new character. You hate them, stop reading articles because of this. Yeah, it's so annoying and it's always, it's always there. And because I clicked on it like once or twice in the beginning, those articles keep on getting recommended to me. Which is funny, I used to never give a shit about like Google's news feed. But for some reason, at some point, I just started reading that on my phone. So I go to like the newsfeed screen, I scroll through all of them, and then I go on Reddit. And they're just always there, so loads of people must click on them. It's just so annoying. But the worst ones are the articles like, ooh, is the sequel for this game finally coming out? And then you click on the article and it's like, no it's not. No it's not. It's like, fuckish, why have the article then? But I'm assuming that is the only way you get clicks on your news articles, right? If you had in your title saying, no one's making a sequel to this game, no one would click on it. Because everyone needs that ads money. I almost said ass money. <laughs> ads money. Money from ads. Which is worse than ass money. 
Okay, for some reason I actually started reading news articles on my phone. Okay. So. We're gonna try. What's this mustached goblin? We're gonna try a. Wait, what? There's more. There's more races than last time. These ones weren't here last time. Is because I actually have a character now. But you have to be level 40. Oh. Oh, it's just different versions of the current guys. But they look cool. Aww. This cute little guy. Except for like the death fog around his head. It looks like he's a chill little dude. He looks like he should be in the Alliance. Who have they got? Void Elf. Light Forge Drene. I don't know how to pronounce that. Too shiny, too golden. Ooh. Edgy dwarves. Whatever this is, is this just hairy people? Oh, they're cool tyrant. What's a cool tyrant? Ooh, and Robocop gnomes. This is kind of cool, except I never click the... Except it's... I don't like how his waist moves. <laughs> I don't like how he's slow twerking while he's sort of... Moving his axes around. Or other guys like everything we know about Silk Song, and they explain they don't know anything. Yeah, that is so fucking annoying. But all of that is almost the same as hey, we have a progress meeting about this thing, and you want to make it seem like you've made some progress. Um, you don't haven't actually made any, so you just waffle around a little bit. Wait, 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 I thought... I thought you can't make death knights. Or do they just... Oh, they start at a high level. Okay, I don't really want to start at a higher level than I am. I want to do... A warlock. Badass edgelord demon summoning warlock. But yes, I don't, I'm not too grumpy about these people doing that, right? Because they have to. Um, which does suck. It's unfortunate that advertising made the internet shit. But I don't know how else... How else it would have worked, right? Would you have had to pay a subscription for everywhere? And I think most people are okay with... Um, a certain... A certain level of advertising but of course like most things that could be just slightly shit people made it extra shit so now everything's just about advertisers and opening a web i don't understand how people can browse websites on their phone it's just after after that first pop-up i just decide nah screw this shit i'm gonna read something else Where's the first look at the X-Men in MCU and you open it and there's check out this cool fan made post. <laughs> uh yeah, people. I feel like this is what the advertising executives look like, except for the Mohawk. Okay. Are we gonna be very bright? Are we gonna be dark gray i don't want to be green should we be this color should we be this color i don't be yellow or green not that there's anything wrong with being green just don't wanna this actually doesn't look too bad hmm In these two, I think. 
The Marlon, hello. Always wanted to play WoW, never had the money for it. We are playing the trial version, which you can level your character up to level 20. I played the other day and I had a character leveled up to like, I don't know, level 11. And now I want to try another character. So you could technically keep yourself busy for a while. Seeing as there's loads of characters. But yeah, I've also never been into the whole pay a subscription for a game. It just doesn't feel right. Hmm, I don't know. Let's stick with the dark grey. Skin type bony, mottled or fresh. We can be a fresh zombie, interesting. I don't like that. Oh. I don't like the bony, that's too, too exposed, too exposed. This could be okay. I don't know, I like the idea that we look after ourselves, right? It's still very fresh. Oh, and this faces. Oh wait, let's disable this jaw first. And then we pick a face. Only thing I ever subscribed to was the Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, I, I'm okay with subscriptions for things where new things appear, right? Netflix, Disney Plus. Except some of those now, but ridiculous as well. Um, Game Pass. There's a lot of games I wouldn't have tried out if I didn't pay for Game Pass. I haven't been playing enough Game Pass games lately, so I'm wondering whether I should actually stop it for a while. But yeah, playing for uh, applications and things, like, oh, here's this phone app that does all these things, but you pay a subscription for some dumb fucking reason. Even worse, hardware with a subscription. I refuse. But what annoys me about WoW is not only do you have to pay a subscription, you also have to buy. Like all the DLC and things. I don't like, I don't like the double dipping in various different monetization methods. Never had a streaming service either, damn. I went all in on streaming services as soon as I had internet that was capable. Because buying stuff, I just end up too much stuff. And how many movies do I really want to buy? But yeah, but streaming stuff has become a little bit too expensive. Wait, is this? Oh, cool, okay. I was wondering, the spiky thing in the chin. This is just a normal face, right? Well, my head's long. That's how clever I am. This is basically... Basically me at my desk. So my head's wider than this, but... Yeah, that's about it. They're all so angry. Huh? Why can't I just be a cheery little zombie guy? Only ever watched Game of Thrones, Stranger Things, I'm not okay with this, and a few other shows of friends. Okay. I, I watch a lot of stuff. I watch less shows these days than I used to. So I have started sort of unsubscribing and then resubscribing. Especially now that everybody just keeps on raising their prices. While simultaneously just having a worse service. And less things. Oh, no hair sticks out in the back. Okay, now that's face. Hair. Ooh. 
Ooh, this is... Doesn't feel very practical. Uh, this would be very... Like, there would just be this bit that you just can't see at all. Hmm... We might just go bald, actually. We're just gonna wear a hat the entire time as well, right? This hair just... Doesn't look stylish enough for us. Scholar. See what I would look like if I grow my hair. See the top knot. Or... I feel maybe the hunchback is making the hair look worse. Let's just go bald. Oh yeah, badass. The colors are bald hair, I would say. Very dark. If you run fast enough within one hair, you'll be defined. <laughs> this one. <laughs> you have to jump off the cliff and tilt your chin up. And then you can glide. Good jaw features. Intact. Rot kissed. Ew. Ooh. A drooler versus a slobber. <laughs> nah. 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 Mm, I feel like we're an intelligent magic user. I don't know if I actually... Oh. Oh. I didn't realize we just don't have... I actually might just go fully intact. Like, we're taking good care of ourselves, right? This just looks gross. I'm actually going and making just a boring dude. Eye color. Sockets. Oh, just no eyes. Ooh. Ah, I was gonna go maybe like a, like a purple or a green. Just nothing there. It's interesting. Yeah, let's do that. Uncle, can we do a space? Okay, we can't do a space. We're going to have the same issue with as with the other character, right? Where you can type stuff like this. Uncle Zombie. And then when you're in the game, it shows up like this. Also can't do dashes, can't do underscores. Man, they're really... Can't do that either. Can't do apostrophes. Big zombie makes him look like me on a Monday morning. Hey, this is <laughs> this is very close. My eyes have been very itchy lately. But now we're not zombie, we're undead. It's more stylish. Um Let's go just with Uncle Zom. Off off Gollum. Yeah, okay, maybe. Look at that thin waist. Okay. Choose starting zone. So this is the one I did with my other character. Is that a new starting zone or is that just you skip? Hang on. Starting area. Oh, starting area for Forsaken. Oh, cool. So we don't have to do that same zone again. Let's do this. Because you have my other character, I didn't have a choice. Probably because it's my first character, right? So I assumed I don't know anything. So it just threw me in here. Interesting. Oh, 
I thought I was going to have to speed through this zone again. No, no, first one was um, Orc. So both Horde characters. Unless this is the default Orc one. Um, it's probably just special new starter zone, right? This is the old classics. Am I going to have to wear this robe all the time? You do look like a badass vampire dude, actually. Let's go. So technically I could go play through the... That have forsaken finally Ooh. took vengeance upon their hated enemy, the Lich King. Their dark crusade in Northrend proved costly. Betrayed by Grand Apothecary Putrus at the Battle of Wrathgate, the Am I supposed to know this lore? The plague of death was unleashed upon both the Alliance and the Horde to calamitous effect. Oh no. Unbeknownst to Sylvanas, Putrus and his demonic ally, Veramathras. Had taken control of the Undersea. Do I know well, Lore? Um, almost nothing. For the traitors atrocities. I played um, Warcraft 1, 2, and 3 very, very long ago. And, her and then I played Hearthstone, so some characters' and names are familiar. Mistrusted by the other members of the Horde, the Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tyrus Fall Glades and readied her undead forces for any contingency. What are these angel things? As one of the Forsaken, you must use your cunning and viciousness to slay any who... Oh shit, the they need Sylvanas cunning food, tonight. Be they human, undead, or otherwise. I feel like I played a little bit with the undead many, many years ago and I don't remember this at all. The Vonus, the Banshee Queen? How do I just click? Welcome back to the realm of the living. Blessing and power of Dark Lady, I free you from death's grip. Nice. I'm not a slave, I can do what I want. Should you choose to serve the Dark Lady Sylvanas? She's a cutie, so yeah, let's do that. Recommend you speak with Undertaker Mordo. Report to Undertaker Mordo. Why do these rewards look so much lower than starting on the other beginner island? We usually got like loads of silver and stuff. Okay. I have Shadow Bolt, Cannibalize. Oh, I just munch corpses. Will of the Forsaken. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't go for any of like this race is cool for this class or blah blah blah. I just went with what I thought would look badass. And what would look more badass for a warlock than a cool undead bro? And you are. Ah shit, I just look just like him, except I take better care of my, my fleshy bits. His bones are sticking out. Please see you're up and about. Nice, you've held up nicely. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been dead for a while. Huh. Fetch my embalming fluid and some twine. Darnell will join you. Okay. Obtain the thick embalming fluid and the corpse stitching twine from the shadow grave. Okay. So, uh, wait, is that, is it only in this little area? Oh, it's this way. Oh, Darnell is showing me, okay. Oh, we're actually going down into a dungeon, nice. I mean, it's not probably technically a dungeon, right? It's... 
terms of land stuff on death tax curse or the lich king lich king pulls a sour and kills Sylvanas off curse so becomes a banshee I never knew she was a banshee I thought she was a kick-ass vampire lady I feel like banshee is way less cool Ugh. That head's looking at me. Gross. Looked like a secret, but it's not. But yeah, I've always wanted to play World of Warcraft, but it's not really the kind of game I play. The one M in the in the MMORPG is not my fan. Hello. Or I'm not its fan. I don't like the multiplayer. I don't like the people. <laughs> I want to play solo. Beware the living. Trust no one. Uh Christ under the corpses, yeah, yeah, yeah. Agatha. Agatha doesn't sound like a very cool Valkyr is supposed to sound like Valkyrie. Wow, that's why they look like angels. Uh, the environs must be destroyed. Okay, we're destroying the the failed ones. Cool. Okay. Victory for Sylvanas. Let's go kill some mindless zombies. Oh, I, oh, I can't move around. I just zap them like this. Oh, I leveled up. Some boots. Corruption. Corrupts the target for 18 shadow damage over 14 seconds. So I'm assuming. Does that take longer to cast? Okay, that takes too long. What are these? Soul shots. Never knew about soul shots. Luckily they're not attacking me. This is zombies gonna raise by Lich King or Lich Sorcerer of Kalfazad. Saskia's raised by Grandma Agatha. Yeah, that's a... But less cool, right? I'm gonna have to hide it. It's like going to jail, but you're there because you, I don't know, shoplifted ice cream. Cool. Speak quickly. Uh, blah blah blah. Yay, we got some equipment. Oh, I have to choose shit. Um, I mean, there's gloves. I already have gloves to give me one armor, right? So this isn't actually any better. But I don't have a cloak. Trust no one. I feel like the other beginner island is more generous. Victory for Sylvanas. Oh, I keep forgetting. It's B, not I for inventory. Uh, so yeah, this is about the same as what I have, right? I've got a cloak. Ooh. The cloaks are a little bit short. I don't like the color. I don't like the color matching of this. Okay, let's see what's up with this, bro. What do you require? Oh, links allowed. Um, maybe I'm probably just not gonna click on it. <laughs> There's something you feel I need to look at. I might Google it. I'm too paranoid to click on links that people post. 
Blah blah blah. Three Nero's undead are having trouble coping. Marshall Redpath, Lillian Voss, and Valdrin Moray. Okay. Watch Good chat with them. Cool trailer. Trailer for what? I don't really watch YouTube stuff on stream. Oh, Lich King stuff. We'll have a look later. What does this do? Oh, I say, why does he look brand new? Oh no, he looks like skinny Thanos, except for the chin. What is it? You died. Uh, it was an orc. Cut off my hands. Oh, yes, hands now. Oh, these are my hands. These are my hands. Okay. I think a mortar probably showed on some new ones for you. Ah, uh, okay. I talk to Mordo. Reality is often disappointing, unfortunately, yes. My blade stays sharp. Man, old MCU movies had so many quotes. Has there been any good quotes in any of the recent movies? I just don't think so. I'm actually watching Loki now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the first season again, and then I'll watch the second season. I hope that's gonna be okay. I think what they should have done is they should have after. Um, what was the movie after Infinity War? <laughs> um, Endgame. Endgame. They should have um, stopped after Endgame and then rebooted new characters and shit rather than making it all a continuation because I feel at some point there's just too many movies and people feel like oh it's too too big of a hassle to get into it and they don't want to watch it I haven't watched any more project after Doctor Strange 2 I've watched everything but nothing's been very good so either I just got tired of it or it got worse I think it just got worse Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was okay. Doctor like Strange 2 was okay. Quite a few of them was okay, but yeah, nothing was great. Uh, evil are attained upon. Oh, the undead are attained upon Azeroth. What? You know you're undead yourself. Oh no. My father will protect me. Sounds a bit Malfoy ish. Last move like by Spider Man. Oh, we can. Since when can we zoom out this far? What the hell? I've never been a big Spider Man fan. I don't know. I think it's because it's. It's always. I am this school. School kid with his friends show. And I don't really care about that. I don't know why. It, it just never. It just never really connects with me. I don't know why. I've never. Like, they're all okay. I didn't dislike any of the Spider-Man movies. Ever. But they're just okay compared to some of the other ones. You low-key want to see Marvel? So I'll see it. I enjoyed Captain Marvel, right? But that movie was never going to do good. Um, do well. I'm wrong, your favorite Marvel hero? Oh, damn. I've never, I was never a big, like I've never read the comics, right? Um, never watched, I don't know if they had animation stuff. Probably some Spider-Man things, maybe. I've always enjoyed it, right? But I feel like the Spider-Man MCU movies as well, they feel like, they don't feel to me like MCU movies. They feel like the old style superhero movies we got before, before the, the Marvel movies. Drinking my coffee and I'm talking and drinking my coffee and trying to play at the same time and I cannot multitask at the moment. But yeah, Marvels, not Marvels, the Marvels. I feel like they shouldn't really be surprised. It's not doing well because people didn't really enjoy Captain Marvel that much. And if you've got three characters, three like main characters in a movie, one of them, the movie didn't do that well. The other two are from TV series where one of them wasn't the main character of a TV series. Like, you're not going to attract a lot of people. 
And then also you have the people who are just like, ugh, ugh, girly Marvel movie. Get this, get this woman out of my movies. Like even ignoring those people, it was never going to do well. It's a bit sad, right? Maybe it's good. I actually, Miss Marvel was okay of a show. I thought it was chill. Um, and Scarlet Witch was a good show after I got through the beginning that I didn't like. So it's a pity if it's, if it's going to be a good movie, but it doesn't do well. But we'll see. Wasn't America Sanchez and Doctor Strange 2? Am I mixing up my characters? Is she in that as well? I thought it's... Like, I know nothing about um, the Marvels. <laughs> I almost said the Marvels as well. Damn it, it's now in my head. Like, I, I've just seen, like, posters and stuff. And not even real posters, just on the internet. So I thought it was um, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and I don't know what her name is. <laughs> the lady that was in um, Scarlet Witch. Got her powers in that show. But maybe yeah, I could be wrong as well. Like, I haven't seen a trailer, I've seen nothing about it except people being happy that it's doing bad. Which is sad, right? I don't like the... unless it's a... A movie made by shitty people. No, it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit sad when people are like, ugh. Yeah, I'm so happy this movie's doing bad. Because there's a bunch of people trying their best, right? If you don't like it, fine, but sort of celebrating how shit it is. That's, that just doesn't feel good. I must start my own Forsaken, yeah, cool. Go be the go do Forsaken things. Go be Forsook. Probably won't enjoy Marvel Movement or Deadpool 3. I'm gonna be just as worried about Deadpool 3 as I was about 2, right? Because I love Deadpool 1 and I thought there's no way. There's no way 2 was gonna be good and then 2 ended up being good as well. And now I think, shit, are they gonna be able to do another good one? I suspect yes, right, with Wolverine in it. I suspect it might be good, but at some point I think I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna think, eh, I'm all Deadpooled out now. People hated Brie Larson since the beginning, yeah. Hey, Triple Tap, trying out the old race specific leveling experience. Yeah, I want to try out a, a Warlock. And then I started and I realized, oh shit, we can pick the old way. I'm listening. So now I don't need to play to that beginner island again. I can do this beginner zone. I'm just being lazy and I just want to see. I just want to, I don't know, I just want to level up a little bit and play around. Still no idea what I'm doing. As far as I can see, it's just Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and WandaVision. Oh, it's WandaVision is the show name. I keep on calling it just Scarlet Witch or whatever I hell I called it, yeah. I don't even know what that character's name is, right? And I like Marvel stuff, so yeah, it's, it's no real mystery that the movie's not doing well. But I'm not um, like a big comics fan. I've never read a... Oh no, I'm lying. I did after I started watching the Marvel movies. I once joined like... What's that? Comics Unlimited or something, something, something like that. I joined that for a bit and tried to read through a few comics and I thought, I'm not enjoying this. I'd rather read a book. I don't know, the comic, I feel like you should be into it from when you're young. I just like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I feel like that's probably the same way someone, when they pop halfway through in a Marvel movie, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Who are these people? What are they doing? So yeah, I have no, like, pre preconceptions about the characters and who they should be and what they should be, so... going on there? Oh, that's I'm assuming in the church. So yeah, I'll wait for I'll wait for the Marvels to be on um, on 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 Disney Plus or whatever, and I'll give it a watch. And I suspect it'll be fine. Read all the Spawn comics. Can't wait for a new movie. I've watched the original old movie, but I I can't remember anything. 
Oh, is she just Monica Rambo? I know Mon is Monica Rambo the daughter of the other Rambo that was in the Captain Marvel movie. It was like a friend, I think so. Would love a Blade reboot. Yeah, I also have zero hope for the Blade reboot. Every time there's a movie that or a game, any kind of media that struggles to get made, right? Either directors leave or the actor. I think the other day the actor was gonna go. Which is sad. How difficult is it to make a badass vampire movie? I would have thought people would be like, oh yeah, let's make this movie. It's probably just been tricky. But man, yeah, Blade's amazing. Even the Blade movies people dislike. I love Blade 1 and Blade 2 and 3. Awesome as well. But I love vampire movies. Especially badass vampire movies. I'm not a big fan of the romance vampire movies. I think I remember from the first Spawn is top tier CGI. Man, I remember nothing. But that's because when I watched it, it's the first time I... I didn't even know what Spawn was. Uh, he escapes from hell and then punishes things. I think that's about it. Farewell. What do you mean Twilight top tier? Uh, I actually watched some of the Twilight movies in the cinema. Because my girlfriend at the time liked it. I think Twilight, I think we talked about this the other day. Twilight was the first movie I saw in the cinema in the UK after we moved over. What am I doing? Um, shipping dead bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Several bodies lit to the bull in the north. Let's go find them. Okay, let's go carry some courses. Premise of Twilight could have been so much more badass. Uh, I feel the main premise of Twilight was... um. I think Twilight is as its premise should have been, but yeah, cool. Just the whole of different vampire families and fighting as the whales and stuff would have been cool. Most things are ruined once you force a love story into it, right? But this better be good. sometimes fine. You sort of have to have it. I'm gonna have you have asset for the Forsaken. I need to learn how to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wretched calls and rattle cage skeletons. Kill eight undead. Okay. Let me get some boots. Goodbye. Let's chill. It's a cop dying by dirty cops and getting reborn after going to hell just to get his revenge. Oh. Man, I love revenge movies, so... If that spawn movie... That did get made, right? It's just being sort of... Um, oh yeah, it's, it's upcoming. Oh, 2025, people think, okay. Yeah, I love revenge movies and I love superhero movies, so of course, superhero revenge movies, amazing. And I love superhero movies that are origin stories, so I hope it's an origin story as well. Because yeah, one of my favorite like, Marvel movies is the Punisher movie. Even though it's not a good movie, right, but it's, it's revenge and it's badass. Well, it's got Twilight because the vampires twinkle in the light, man. That's just sad. Charlie Swan Vampire Hunter. Charlie Swan is character in Twilight, right? <laughs> I'm impressed with myself that I, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's the dad. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, they should make a sequel where someone does revenge. And kills everyone. I love revenge shows. I don't know what it is about it. There's just something about revenge shows that are so good. What do I have? Oh, I can summon an imp. Oh, 
How many imps can I summon? Okay, I'm assuming I'm re-summoning the same one this entire time. Okay, so we're just killing... Did that count as me killing it? Let's stay away from that other person. Like, I'm gonna say something that we're not gonna repeat and we'll deny it later, but... Those movies weren't actually that bad, right? <laughs> I've seen worse movies in my life than the Twilight movies. I watched all of them and I didn't hate every single second of it. Oh, he's carrying all of them. But I really love vampire movies, so... It's, um... Vampire movie has to be really shit for me to not like it. They were just a little soapy. I wouldn't say just a little. Is this, I'm assuming this spell is my only way of attacking. Oh, this dude's just... Stacking up the corpses. Love werewolves and the Twilight Werewolves are a crime. Yeah. The best werewolves in a movie I have ever seen is the first Underworld movie. When they were still doing practical effects. Man, that movie was so good and looked so good and those werewolves were so fucking badass. I don't really use the word badass in real life. I don't know why I'm currently saying everything's badass. Already watched them all during the pandemic. They are fine. Maybe I should give it another go. I'm actually so... What's the word? I'm really craving a good vampire movie at the moment, or some just some vampire thing. So I was actually just about to start rewatching Vampire Diaries the other day, but then I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Like a first watch through, I can sort of block out all the romancy, teenager angst nonsense just for the cool vampire aspects of everything. But I don't think I can do a second watch. I think it's too much for me. Oh, there's just a major lack of vampire and werewolf shows currently. And I think it's Twilight's fault. I think Twilight made people think Werewolf and vampire shows are romance shows, and people just lost all interest. Oh, inside the church thing. What is it? Growing in strength. You've seen my type before. That's rude, or is that a compliment? Oh, it's a compliment. Bro. What's he wearing on his face? Oh, mm. These dudes all look a little bit a little bit BDSM y with like the straps and stuff and tongue hanging out. Well her hair is cool. Maybe I should get some hair later. Watch over you. Novice Elrath. What do you require? Embrace the shadow. Uh, so young forsaken woman running towards the old inn, screaming for her life. Oh, oh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Take my hand, mirror, and show the young woman. Oh, she once again doesn't know she's undead. No one. What's up with all these confused undead people?
Should I have gone for the missing the jaw with the tongue just hanging out thing? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't feel that's a good uncle look. It's too drooly. I want to look. I feel like every time I looked at my character, I would have thought, what the hell is wrong? Which way are we going? Are we circling around here? Oh, should we have gone in? Was there a stair? Gone up the stairs? Yeah, I, it is cool, but it's, it is <laughs> it's a little bit much for me for making a cool looking zombie. Ah, oh, the stairs over here. If we were like a combat fighter zombie, I think I would have done it, but we are a stylish warlock man oh it's not upstairs what is going on with me like we're well preserved hey you don't look like a zombie at all oh there she is what is it you ask so what do i do mirror and then Huh? Oh, she was upstairs. Okay. Well, I do mirror and I click on it. I live my life in the shadows. You're not hideous. You're one of us. Do not okay. linger. Man, I have that same reaction every morning after I wake up and I see myself in the mirror. I think, ah, shit. How did this happen? Stylish, well preserved warlock man says the hunchback not drop. There's nothing wrong with this posture. This is peak, peak gamer software developer, and I'm a man on the internet streamer posture, right? You don't get this posture from doing your stretches and your exercise. A lot of effort going in to get this. I'm listening. She ran away. Yeah, okay, cool. Do not seek death. I'll keep you busy and done all week. Sure. I'm the fighting type, okay? Talk to Executor Aaron. Okay. Dark lady, watch over you. Oh yeah, what do we look like when we dance? Yeah, this is basically me as well. Oh no, this is not two two cool moves. Moves are two. Oh, so he will attack me when he gets close. That's why he was red. Oh, the yellow. Yellow, I can attack, but they won't attack me. The red will attack me. Well, someone who played for like three hours the other night, I still have no idea what I'm doing. Should I be? Looking around at stuff, or not really. Now I'm assuming everything that's worthwhile will have like a quest marker or something. Sin ambulance is having a stroke. That's just rude. Yeah, well, I can't dance either. I am forsaken. I don't understand how to move all your different body parts. Uh, look at your armor, you're a mess. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I could stay in one piece. I don't know if you do. Perhaps I can help. Gather some paws and wings from the wolves and bats. Can make some armor for me. I'm assuming I'm always going to have like a, a robe. Which is a pity. I'm not a big robe fan. They do look comfy, right? I actually wouldn't mind if robes were what we wore in society. Man, I'm not free enough to walk around wearing like a skirt or a dress or something. I, I, I don't want to draw any attention in public. 
I'm wearing like a, a manly, manly warlock robe in public. That would be good. Should we kill rats as well? Is that rude? Oh, what did I learn? Unending resolve hardens your skin, reducing all damage. Okay. Fear. Okay. Oh, he has my little little imp body has different. He's got fireballs, assist, defensive, passive. Let's keep him as fireball. Wear a kill, that many. Yeah, but I'm not Scottish. And I don't even think Scottish dudes wear kilts unless it's a a fancy event. Sharpened letter opener. Wait, do I have a basic weapon? Do I just... Oh, this does do 1 to 2 damage. Okay, so if I don't do a spell, I do a little bit of damage, but... This does 18, so why wouldn't I? Spell I might wear robes and other options. Transmog, we can change what you get. Actually, looks like... Yeah... Maybe in this I'll actually transmog something, but I like... I like looking the way my armor looks. So that I have to make the decision between looking badass or having cool skills. Or cool stats or whatever the hell armor gives you in this game. It's weird not running around while casting spells. I was so used to just running and jumping and all sorts of weird shit when I played with that hunter. Suddenly not being allowed to move. It's tricky. Maybe I'll get cool robes later. Maybe it'll grow on me. Why well, do I just run around naked? Should we get some intimidation points from that? Bats now, we're killing these scavengers. I feel like when I originally, originally tried WoW the first time, this is like many, 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 many years ago. I don't feel they had this sort of empty server for loads of beginners and things. I feel like I started playing, there were just loads of people all killing the things I wanted to kill. And it was way more annoying in the beginning doing quests and stuff. So I'm just assuming that server was just way more populated than um, this is. Boing, boing, boing. Looks like I'm trying to fly like a bat. But not quite, what not quite it? working out. Remember Done. Patience. Oh, he made braces for me. Okay, he said I should bring him some stuff that he can use to make me some good armor, right? Then I give the stuff to him and he gives me braces and he says... Hopefully it should do you more good than the last one to wear. Unless he means the animals because it's their skin. Okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Beware I was going to say, doing, giving, giving me second-hand items. Like, hmm. Wait, but I just did a quest where I received flax braces. No Is it giving me braces again? I can just right click. I don't have to drag. Oh, I don't have any braces on. Belt. Just 
I have that's new. Nothing. Uh, are we doing killing spiders? Anything else on the map that's interesting? I like the map. It's probably not the most useful, but it looks pretty. How do I untarget something? Maybe I just don't. It's alright. Ah. Spiders. Let's get them. Yay. Venom sack crafting. Belly club? What was that spider hitting with the club? I should be doing this and then picking stuff up. I don't know how long items last on the ground before they despawn. I don't even know if they do. Oh wait, it loots everything, right? Yeah, I forgot most of most of what I learned the other day. Maybe that's another good reason to have started over. I just don't know what class I want to play. It does sound like the, the ones that are most solo viable are ones where you either have a pet or you summon. Unless I'm wrong and there is way more. I probably don't actually have to worry because I'm very unlikely to play far enough where something like that actually matters. Uh, kill another one. And then we have to kill a night web spider. Oh. Oh, is, are we going in that? Night web hollow. Cool. Yeah, this zone definitely looks older than the, the newer one we started in. When was it? I don't know. Was it over the weekend? Was it Monday? I don't even know what day. What day it is and when I last streamed. I streamed last night, didn't I? It's hard to keep track. This is where I came in. Oh. I think I streamed yesterday. Oh, I've got a sword. Yeah, we are definitely not using a two-handed sword, are we? We are gonna use... Oh, what are we gonna use, right? We don't... We don't use our... We don't use our staff to attack, do we? Cast spells. Do I need something for when I run out of mana? I don't know. So we're not really running out of mana by casting the spell that costs five. It recharges almost as quick as we as we cast it. Is there anything cool in here? Should I maybe not explore? I don't want to accidentally get eaten by a giant spider. How do I 
get up there. Go and smash crates, can I? Or barrels. Just the same spiders. It would be hilarious if they suddenly all aggroed. I would be so dead. Okay, I thought there might be like a. Oh, that's the main spider. Should I stand up here and shoot at her? She doesn't look any bigger. Is this going to be a mistake? Should I do a, a corruption on her and then we'll do... Oh. Not actually any tougher. Interesting. Also didn't really get anything else. Okay. Fine. Let's get out of here. I feel our green cloak clashes with the rest of our color scheme. Doesn't go well with our dark gray skin or our dark gray robes. And our robes are more of a purplish gray, right? Ooh. Wait, did I just accidentally turn myself around? Damn it. <laughs> Don't get a bright red rope. Yeah, that would look cool. I'm assuming we'll be able to get all sorts of ropes. Uh, we are very slow. But this dude is actually still faster than I am. Who's hiding in these bushes? It's Rubani, Tyler Ron. Why can he have a dash in his name? Why couldn't I? Oh, his name is just Rubani. Is that... What's the... The dash something then? Like a guild or something. Or is it like... Hmm, I wonder. What now? Flax Vest, ooh. Or Reflection Demonology or Destruction Specialization. We're probably gonna go Demonology, that sounds... Badass. Oh, my avatar's in the way. No, I was saying the dude was like in the middle of the screen. What am I covering? Oh, I'm just covering up my bags. And some shortcuts. Uh, big friend Darnell came by. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, apparently, like death knell. Is it death knell or is, is the K silent? Is it death knell? Or is it knell? Knell sounds wrong the more I say it. Oh no, it's just down the road, be careful. And then I'm completely brainless, oh man. Ooh, we're getting refreshing spring water. Our time Ooh. Come. There was a guild name or a title, yeah, so I think as well. What are we doing? Report to Darnell. I know she had more coffee. We're gonna attack this camp. Oh, they actually have names. Unlike in Black Desert, where your family names show their characters. That's cool. I've never played Black Desert. What would you ask of death? But I haven't played most MMOs, which is why I went ahead and tried a whole bunch of MMOs. Did he just switch weapons? Forsaken sword, forsaken dagger. I mean, do I? Even use any of these when I 
one thinks they're right, I'm supposed to spell them before they get to me. Oh, I get a reward, uh... I feel like if I had to, I'll probably just use a dagger, right? Shit. Inventory's full. Should I go sell stuff? I think I get why they have the new starting area. I feel the new starting area, like the order of doing things, is a bit more thought out. Like I never just ran out of space because... You get a few things and then you are where the vendors are and they say, hey, you can sell your stuff. And you go, oh, cool, yeah, cool, I'll do that. Yeah, because I'm an idiot, I forgot. Let's actually wear this. Oh, shit. Look at me. With my tights on. I sort of get, maybe I understand why, why they wear robes, okay. This is the same reason why I wear really baggy trousers in real life. Training sword of the quick blade. I want to pick up a level 9 thing. I'm just going to sell it. I should connect a... Um, I should connect an authenticator. <laughs> I have an authenticator on my other Blizzard account, but not on this one. New leveling zones, much more linear experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still like this. This is still my favorite beginner play thing. Of like I tried Guild Wars and I tried um, Final Fantasy XIV. And this is still way more chill, way more relaxing. There aren't hundreds of things and people all around. I think I, I still like this zone more than the others, but yeah, that other zone's definitely for like super new person, like hey. What now? Oh, I can buy a bag. What do I just sell? Hmm. I don't have enough space, I think, to hang on to shit that I don't definitely need right now so i'm just gonna sell it usually in a game i would hang on if this says crafting stuff never get rid of it but i don't even know if you have storage do you have storage in, in um in wow or is your storage just what you have with you is he wielding a baguette he is wielding a baguette interesting more traditional and most unexperienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a banking system. Uh, should I worry about... Okay, so why does this have a little gold icon on it? And this doesn't, and that doesn't. I feel like this... These things usually are just crap that you can trade away right but this you can actually wield meh let's sell it and weapon wise aren't i just gonna am i not just gonna stick with uh with a uh, staff i feel like going for like oh i'll save up this two-handed sword that doesn't feel quite right i'm gonna sell it that's pretty much just vendoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought as well. So I was surprised when you could actually equip the thing. But the only reason you probably equip that is because you have absolutely nothing else. I'm going to sell it. And I'm actually going to buy a pouch. And I have loads of silver. I wouldn't be able to use it. I oh, okay, that does make sense, right? It's just odd that it... Um... Oh, that's why two hand is in red. Because my class can't use a two hand. My class can't use a mace. It just didn't really show like that on my screen. I'm sorry, my screen, it's in my inventory. I just didn't pay enough attention. Uh, I'm going to actually buy the bag. 
my two bags. Okay. Our enemy is about. What else do we have around? Just stylish things. Okay. Watch your back. Mock trainer, rogue trainer, warrior trainer, the scared lady. Ew, bugs. Okay, I have loads of space now. I might install some add-ons and stuff. No, I'm just running on in robes, whacking people with two-handed swords the flat side because he can't use it. I mean, if it works, right? And hitting people with a big off flat sword typically does fit with the kind of characters we make in games. Yeah, it's so weird. Every single um, like Souls-like game we play, I play the big, big buff dude with a sword and then we play these MMOs and I pick not that character. Oh, except in Final Fantasy XIV I did, right? But yeah, we should try a few other MMOs. I just don't know what what's good and what has free trials just for funsies. We just throw the sword. That could work, right? There was a game that I played the other day. Actually, probably a while ago, where I picked up a cool sword and then I thought it was attacking and I ended up throwing it at someone. I don't know how that happened. I played hundreds of hours, probably, of um, Cyberpunk. And um, I never made a throwing knife bolt because I thought it would be really annoying. You throw your knife and then you have to... You can only equip like three different weapons. Then you have to go pick it up again. I thought that sounds really shit and not fun at all. And then the other day when I played a bit again, I needed something to throw. And I thought, oh, I'll throw this knife. And then I realized it spawns back in your hand. I just didn't know. Speak quickly. Uh, I mean, fine, let's... doesn't really matter what we go for then. Do I just go for the thing that's worth more? Both are worth 18. This looked cooler. Remember, patience, discipline. Oh yeah, RuneScape. Is RuneScape something you can vaguely solo as well? In the beginning, just, just to experience it. Attack is starting. You're better in combat than I am. Uh, sure, Donnell. Donnell looks like he's actually great at combat. He's bigger than... He is way bigger than I am. Why is he so big? Oh yeah, Black Desert, Lost Ark. I played a bit of Lost Ark, but Lost Ark... Um, Lost Ark is just too... Too microtransaction-y. Too... Hey, log in every day and do your daily quests and stuff. I just couldn't. It just annoyed the hell out of me. Lost Ark is the reason why I haven't played um, Diablo 4 yet. The living. It just made me realize it doesn't matter how much I like a specific game style. The economy of it can just ruin it for me. Can you literally disarm Forsaken? <laughs> that would be cool. Special movie, you rip off their arm and attack them with it. Okay, are we just... Oh, I'm assuming we're fighting these guys. Rot Brain Berserker. How does my basic attack work? Do I have a basic attack? Ah, oh, fine, let's just attack. Oh yeah, they've got all the skill you're hitting yourself. I mean, we are outnumbering these guys by... quite a bit. Let me attack that one. Let me attack that one. Let 
Yeah. Get some copper. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize someone else was attacking. What's that? Curse of weakness. I'm being attacked? How dare you? Why did my minion not attack? So how does this work? Can I eat zombies as well? Or do I have to eat real people? Oh no, that's okay. We can eat the, the undead flesh. I mean, technically you always eat dead flesh, right? It's just how long was it dead? What's this? Because of weakness, increase the time between an enemy's attack by 20% for two minutes. Oh, damn. Uh, Marshall Red Path. I think a mage would also be quite cool to play, maybe. Am I on fire? What's going on? That looks like a boss. No, that's just a berserker. Oh, shit. I feel like I might... Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. I feel like if I'm gonna die, that'll be with this character. I did quite well with the other one, I don't think I ever died. Well, I don't think that's really an achievement, right? So, yeah, okay, yeah, I played the first 11 levels of World of Warcraft Softcore and I didn't die. That's not really an achievement. You know, sort of the problem with an MMO, right? Oh, we have to wipe out this camp and we only kill a few and the rest is still there. And then we're like, okay, job done. Don't die in the tutorial. I feel we need robes again. I have changed my mind. We don't look good without the robes. Not with these purple tights. We don't look intimidating, we don't look badass, we just look... I don't know. Speak quickly. Ooh, new staff. Two to three damage, wow. Blah, 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 I'm a strong warlock, yep. Uh, this needs to take my field agent, Death God Simmer. Row North. Blah, blah, blah. Bit of a Scarlet Crusade documents to Death God Simmer at Col. Calston? Calston? Estate. Okay. Thanks, bro. I'm assuming there's no other quest, right? It would show up. Oh, I need to sell some stuff again, right? Let's. First, new stuff. Literally just changes color. Am I supposed to read this? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I could sell that. Fine. I'm just curious whether I actually do I use the staff? Because I don't feel like I'm using the staff right. I just cast spells. Trust no one. Kill ten bands, put on a thread, running out the band again with the other two bands all <laughs> running after me, killing set ten. Yeah, yeah. That's how it works, right? Let's do it again. Oh, he actually drops a lot of coppers. Even though that's not really anything, right? Do 
Wee. I feel I never used to always run and jump in games up until I played Morrowind, then it was actually leveling a character up. And then I'm like, okay, this is good. We have to always do this. I like that as undead you start off with a nice little foresty area. Very nature-like. Rather than some... Still is it? What's looking at that bush? Nothing. Other than this could have been just a, a swamp. Oh, what's that? Decrepit Dark Hound. Why well, level six? I could kill that. I think. Come on, minion. Stringy wolf meat. I get the feeling we are going to have to hunt for wolf meat. Maybe. Maybe. I suspect there'll be a quest for that. Not much going around. And of course I run into the only lamppost in the surrounding area. Oh, there's actually a few people around here. Well, this zone is definitely more populated than um Ooh Murloc. It's in Murgle. Death God Summer. What now? Hey bro, cool lantern man. Light intelligence, yeah sure, okay. Embrace the shadow. Very good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Watch your back. Humans and Taurus are fickle creatures, yeah. Why is everyone giving me braces? What's the point? Uh, Lion Saloon's close by. Okay, we're gonna kill some poor little farmers. Beware the Ooh, I feel like definitely starting in this zone makes you seem like way more of a bad guy. Hello than the other horde starting point we had. Play the feed trial too, and I will walk and start a play in Transylvania kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. It's Death Knight. You do play with the Lich King? Yeah, I think Death Knight... Like, I couldn't pick a Death Knight when I started. I think you need a character of a certain level or something, but now I can. But I think you start at a much higher level, right? It's not a starting class, really. I definitely do want to try that, but I thought I'll, I'll, I want to get into it a bit more. I can't have my highest level character be like level 11, and then I go, you know what, Death Knight it is. That'll definitely be cool. Uh, fledgling Warlock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find a farm. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. Yeah, humans. Uh, teach a scum a lesson, steal 10 of their precious, that's not what I thought this dude is like. I hate humans, go kill 10 of them. This dude's like, they are scum, they are mold and rotting corpse, go steal their pumpkins. <laughs> like, uh, okay, that's definitely going to teach them a lesson. They will never mess with us again after all this pumpkin theft. I think you need one character level 10, ah. It used to be like something like level 50 or 60 or something, right, I think. Captured Scarlet Zealot. Oh, poor dude. He's having a rough time. Okay, all the trainers. I don't actually know how the training stuff works. Death Knight and Hunters are my main sword and starting is really fun. I should give that a go at some point as well. Oh, that's just the quest giver. Maybe I should have... Could I have picked Walken? Oh, Walken's Alliance, right. 
I say, I don't think I saw Walken in my list, but I think they're Alliance. Maybe that's why. I'm too edgy. I'm too edgy to pick the, the Alliance. I need to go with the Horde. We're literally murdering these guys for the one dude. And then for the other two, we're stealing the pumpkins. I don't think they're going to be that concerned about the pumpkins. These are big fucking pumpkins. I would be sad as well if someone stole my massive pumpkin that I worked really hard on. But I would be more upset that they killed all my farmers. I tested out my new model today. There's one or two fixes I want them to make, but other than that, almost done. Good, the farmers could rise the undead after you kill them. Yeah, and they can join you. It's like a recruitment session. Oh yeah, I should probably do corruption more, right? But I feel like the few times I've done it, didn't do that much damage, but that's probably because the people were punier, right? So they didn't do, they didn't need that much damage. I could kill them in like two shots with Shadow Bolt. So yeah, okay. With these guys, it is probably better. Yeah, okay, it does actually make quite a big difference with them. Nice, thanks. I just get stuck in the Shadow Stalker. What does that little star mean? I should know by now, seeing as. Is it stuck in the chimney? Evaded my spell? Oh, it heals faster than I can hit it. You know what? Let's go kill something else. <laughs> that dude doesn't want to die. I'm just wondering what that means. Little, little star. How hard is he gonna hit? Okay, that actually hits. I just don't want to get too close because I always assume when they've got a little icon next to them, it means they're very dangerous or something, but... Does it mean I'm gonna level up if I kill them? Or is that just a coincidence? Hmm. Oh. Create health stone. I don't have a target. How many can I make? Okay, I do only have one. That does make sense, right? Should I put this there? And then I just occasionally, occasionally use it. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about my... Get out of my kitchen. Dude, we're not in the kitchen. We're on the farmland. Farmer man. Now he does try and flee. A bit more wise than all the animals we fought so far. 
it's that little area there. It's a tiny little pumpkin patch, maybe. Now we need a lot of pumpkins. It's only a few. Wait. What well, I picked it up. Die. Okay, we've killed enough people. Now we just need to steal enough big giant orange pumpkins. It's the aggro range on like these things. Okay. Okay, that fear was good. The toss. That motherfucker. Did I almost get killed by farmers? Would have been embarrassing. Two more. Just grab that one and we'll get out of here. We taught them a lesson. Now we can we can flee. Not flee, we can strategically remove ourselves from this area. Did the other start have more music or something? I don't remember the game being this quiet. Maybe it was and I just didn't pay attention, I didn't notice. Like there was some some background music. Maybe the game only actually has background music in like intense areas. And can boss battles or something, I don't know. Gordo. Does he look familiar to me? Oh yeah, I played a teensy tiny little bit of Heroes of the Storm as well, but only against like, like the, the AI, never against actual people. Oh, did he get his butt cheeks from several different people? Interesting. <laughs> what would you ask of death? Yeah, fine, we get more braces. That's Trust fine. No one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Serve the Dark Lady. Yep. Kill 10 warriors of the Scarlet Crusade. Okay. This dude better not send us to go steal more veggies. Pumpkins have a purpose, a delivery mechanism on this batch of plague. Oh. Need marrow petals, which go at the bottom of the little pond. Okay. Uh, some stone and some briny sea cucumbers. Interesting. I didn't even know we were close to the coast. Oh, suddenly loads of quests. Where do we start? We started over there. I do. Oh. Ooh. Different zones. I don't even know what all these icons mean. Oh, dungeons. Let's go check that. Oh, wait, which. Oh, this. Do quests have like a level? I don't know. Probably fine. Let's see. Oh, I should probably have... I keep pressing I. Like, this is... Meh. No real difference, right? Let's just go sell the stuff we have. We've got... Nah, we still have loads of bags. 
They're all bagged up. Maybe I did waste a little bit of money buying two of them, but I don't like it when my inventory is full in the game. Do we need to breathe if we're undead? So it's almost like walking as if you can steer upwards and downwards. Okay. Seeing how the fish moves. Okay, we swim weirdly. I'm going to assume we have infinite breath because we don't breathe. Oh, is this all that was in here? Marrow petal. We haven't found a chest or anything yet. So quiet. Okay. Mm, I don't know. If you're probably going to run that way at some point, right? Then I'll do these quests. Okay, let's see what these are like. It was that quest in the town. so lonely it's, unless it's hidden under under that exclamation mark exclamation point I don't know whatever the right word is I don't see a quest giver Ooh, and he's not upstairs. Aha! Just chilling in the bed with his hat on. Cedric, uh, you work on your life or you get killed by plague. Oh man, that's rough. Uh, lonely and old age, need a companion, use this leash on one of the murlocs. That sounds... That sounds wrong. He's lonely, so we're gonna catch him a murloc. Are Murlocs intelligent creatures in this game? Victory for Sylvanas. Don't know how I feel about us capturing him a companion. Oh yeah, let's go check it out. Do I have like a quest log? Is this just my quest log? Is there no level or quests? Like, you should be level 11, blah blah blah, or is it more than like scaled? Or is it just if you're high enough level you can take the quest? Follow this path. Could fight more dudes, but me. It's not like we have to grind XP in the beginning, right? Oh, this is where the warriors are, okay. Oh, this is all way closer than this map makes it look some reason this feels like it's far away and then you look at your mini map and you're right next to it yellow means the probe of your level as you level up might turn green red means we're sketchy ah okay okay cool so this is just all fine there's no like exact 
we recommend that you should be a level 5 for this game or for this quest, sorry uh, if I catch the Murloc I need to take him all the way back, right? maybe I should do that quest then on my way back and do a few other quests I like it when quests are like level ranges so I can come back later and completely kick someone's ass because I'm over leveled but unlike single player games right it's not like I can get incredibly over leveled I'm assuming uh, it's just a farm boy where's the warrior man not looking for the, the puny ones I'm gonna fight the big boys Feel like I'm running into a trap. Oh, someone else has already killed all of them. What level am I? Oh, I'm level seven as well. Should we check in the tower? Oh, there's someone. Just don't want to interrupt someone else's battle. I should probably pay attention to um, if I get cooler skills. Oh, a letter. This item begins a quest. Oh, that was cool that I could just click it. Okay, she would decide to take a prisoner and undead one. Okay, we have one of this prisoner as well, right? Oh, no, it's not a normal prisoner. It's probably like his ex-girlfriend or something. Okay, they're not that much tougher than the farmers, actually. Oh, I should have done the curse first. Not the curse, sorry, the, the damage over time. Let's go rescue this undead. Bam. Playing this is actually making me want to play um, Knights of the Old Republic again. Just standing there clicking on skills. Mm, it's been a while since I've played through both of them, but has it been long enough? That is the question. What is it you ask? Hello, one dead lady. I'm here to rescue you. Don't need to be rescued. Never let must be rescued by an abomination. Once again, she does not know she's undead. I'm not undead, not for long, my father re Oh, it's a dad. There is much to be done. Oh shit. Should we listen to this and then fight? Swords instead of pitchforks, I guess the only difference. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, it's so good. I was so angry when instead of making a third one, they made an MMO. Can I just... Oh, she just killed him, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I live my life in the shadows. 
Keep your oh, you live, up. Your, you live your life in a cage. Uh, find the prisoner. We found the prisoner. Oh, we're supposed to go back there. Okay, fine. Me. And yeah, we still could have some hope for that remake to be good, but just like all other pieces of media, if it's been passed around too much and it's been delayed too long and then indefinitely delayed, I have no no hopes that it's going to be good. It'll be amazing if it ends up being good. I'll be very, very happy, but I doubt it. What I want, what I would love, I want someone to buy some billionaire needs to decide they really like Star Wars. And I want them to buy um, The Old Republic and rework it so it's just single player. Just rebalance some stuff. Remove some of the annoying MMO stuff and then bam. Cool, cool Star Wars game. Without other people in it. So I did have some fun playing it. Up until you get to the point where it's just the how much I like Star Wars just gets outweighed by how much I dislike online multiplayer things. Says the person currently playing World of Warcraft. Come on, warrior. Get shadow bolted. Picking up a lot of weapons. Yeah, it's definitely a lot different than the other beginning. I feel you have it's completely different like drop tables and you get completely different items. We killed enough, we need one more. Just stay away from the other person. Don't want to be too close. They might send us a message to party up or something and then we have to rudely ignore them. Die, Scarlet Warrior. Cool. Then, which quests do we have? Close by. Okay, we, we're gonna go find some briny sea cucumbers and then we'll capture a vile fin. Oh, we need to get a drink. I do hope we'll have a something like Knights of the Old Republic at one point again in the future. We just need a company to come out and start making games like classic Blizzard games. Uh, not Blizzard games, Bioware games. Because no game ever like story-wise grabbed me as much as their games. Like you like, can't put it down, wake up in the morning like before class or something, or before work and play. Like Jade Empire, Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect when it was still good. Well, let's ignore them. Damn it, dude. Mind your business. Should I actually just capture him? You're gonna follow me now. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't like how I swim. What's this? Oh, it's a sea cucumber. Do sea cucumbers crawl around? That was a gross sound. It 
It's so silent under the water. So weird. Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, sea cucumbers are the most attractive of nature's species. Cool. Let's go back. I just haven't been super into any game's story in a very long time. And I don't know if it's me or if it's the games. Now a cute puddle jumper. Calling a puddle jumper sounds like it's a burlock slur. Probably not. It's a job title. Stay away from the wolves. Last story I was super in was Red Dead Redemption 2. I just get so distracted, right? I feel like it's all these games going open world that just completely takes me out of the story because you're super into the story and then you see an icon on the map and you go do that thing for three hours and then it's like, oh, wait, I need to go back to the story and then, oh, that's a shiny horse. Let's go try and capture him, and then, ah, oh, shit, okay, wait, story. It's just me ruining games for myself by not just being able to focus on the story. I actually only finished the Red Dead Redemption story for the first time, um, like, a few months ago. Because I usually play it, and then I get too sidetracked on different things, and then I get bored of the game, and, like, ah, oh, shit, doing those challenges... That, oh yeah, that's what ruined the game for me the first time. I was super into it and I started doing all those challenges because I wanted all the, like the gear and stuff. And doing all those gambling challenges and all those things and I just got so annoyed at the game I stopped playing. Where well, last time I played I just said, okay, I'm only going to do, I'm not, I'm going to ignore challenges. I'm only going to do um, story quests, any kind of story quest, side quest, everything, I'll do it, but... It has to be a story thing. And I had a way better time and the game was amazing. And then I'll do all the challenges at the end when I'm done. And I was done and I played for another two days and I thought, you know what? Meh. Our time will come. Embrace the shadow. A prisoner, oh, there's a young woman. Lost the boss, prison, kill the captor. Okay, fine. Beware. Our enemy is about. But yeah, it was such a good game. I'm not sure if I like the first one more. Don't know. Don't know. You're bored with the main story? Oh, damn. It's just hard to stay focused, I feel. Uh, that's why I, I love open world games, right? But something with a good story, I feel, needs a bit more focus. Like, it's cool, have a little zone where you can explore and do side quests and stuff, but... Sometimes having that linear progression through, like Mass Effect 1 versus Andromeda, basically, or uh, mm, which other game? I'm thinking of another game and I can't remember what it is. Remember. I just feel open world. Open world and a good story just doesn't work out quite that well. Oh, okay, we make some some poison pumpkins. Oh, we get so many bags that I really need. That I really need to buy those other ones. Having trouble going on a Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I played act... I started over like three, four times maybe, because I keep on wanting to try a different character, and then I'm... I feel I'm deep into Act 1. I don't even know how far that is, and then I just got a little bit... I don't know. I don't want to say bored. It's just not what I feel like at the moment. I'll definitely play it at some point because it is a good game, but 
the I'm just not in very much in the mood for a turn-based game and I feel like I love D&D d and is great but I don't think D&D is the best like system for having a game on PC like you don't need simple roles and stuff like that you could have something cooler and I oh this is going to sound even worse I don't like um like the spell spell slots this thing once a day kind of system of dungeon dragons it's it sort of spoils it for me i much rather i'm play a game where it's like oh you can cast a spell once per combat or there's a countdown timer or something because i i always like oh shit okay when should i now rest am i gonna rest i'll just not cast my spells and then i just keep the with the magic people shooting people with crossbows or um cantrips and then i never really cast my cool spells because oh i don't know if we're gonna have a big battle soon where if you're playing like on a table with a dungeon monster right they can sort of guide things a bit more so okay you're gonna know there's a good time to rest now we're done sort of done with this one thing but yeah, it did seem like a great game. I put quite a few hours into and then I just sort of... Uh, I'm not having a lot of fun. And then I think I started playing Cyberpunk. Uh, what are we doing? Harmless pumpkins, blah, blah, blah. Pumpkin laced with latest formula. Okay, we're going to take a pumpkin to a fool. Okay. Oh, we're going to feed it to the captured prisoner. The undead people starting zone definitely makes you seem way more evil than the generic beginning zone where you're just rescuing your horde friends and overall being chill and nice and friendly. Three times, I can't remember how I started. I probably started more than three, but three is the... I've actually put multiple hours of gameplay into this, which is like three or four. I think I did a paladin, I think I did a fighter, I did a warlock. I did a thief. Oh, I think I played like a thief character up until I realized that um, like they're very, oh, we need to stick to the D&D rules, but they changed the rules around um, Mage Hand. And instead of just being a cantrip, it's like a once a day spell or something. And I'm like, ugh, now I'm annoyed. Let's start over with a fighter. And I can just hit things as much as I want without worrying about daily limits. Because the Horde isn't evil. Yeah, yeah. They're just trying to save themselves with their society. But now, here I am feeding poison pumpkins to a prisoner, dude. Which, to me, feels a little bit evil. Right? This is not... <laughs> oh. The hell did he turn into? Why is he? He turned into a monster and magically split in two? Yeah, but just because we are undead and we are forsaken doesn't mean we're bad, right? What does Gordo want? Okay, Gordo. Repair my gear. Do we have durability? Oh, we do have durability. What is task? Master wants weed, yeah. Big hands, got a picking. Fine, fine, fine. Three gloom weed. Okay. Sure, Gordo will do you a favor. I forgot about this dude at the top of the tower. We're bringing him his Murloc friend because he's lonely? Oh, I don't know if I want to stay around for this. I'm listening. Watch your back. Where's my Murloc? Did I take too long and my Murloc disappeared?
Damn it. During the areas of honest a little forsaken, you kind of are. Oh. Damn. We lost our murloc. Do we have to go capture another one? Shit. It still says I have one captured. But I don't see him anymore. When did he die? I thought I heard something when I ran up the stairs, but I... Should we see if we can go capture another one? Let's go give it a try. I don't know. I don't know if I have to, but... He's definitely not there. Might as well pick some weeds on the way. Oh, I just need to pick one more. Oh shit. I forgot he's red. Oh, I have another spell. Oh, this is to heal my demon. How do I get more? Oh, action boss. That's probably enough for me for now. Numbers for cooldowns, okay. Cool, now I can put this. Oh. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna... Pick one more weed and then we'll go get the murloc so I don't get distracted. Getting sidetracked again. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're picking the weed before we go. Before we go get the murloc so I don't get distracted on the way there because shiny things. This is why I struggle with story in open world things. It's like, ooh, shiny. Unless the game has an amazing map where you can put map markers and type in as much as you want. Then I'll just mark it and I'll go back later. But there's been too many times where I saw something like, oh, I'm going to come back. And then I forget. And all I remember is that I was trying to remember something, but I don't remember what. It's like, shit. It's the same way in normal life as well. This is why I always type notes for myself on my phone about the work and stuff. Because most of my work breakthroughs are done when I'm in bed trying to sleep. It's like, oh, maybe that's where the bug is. And then I type a little note for myself. I used to have just a notebook that I wrote into and draw little diagrams and things. But... Um, it ended up being, I wake up the next morning and I can't read my handwriting. Should we bring him an oracle? I need to damage the thing, right? Oh, I just need to click again. Dumbass. So this one's going to level me... Is this going to level me up? Or is this just a special... Special Murloc. He's a big one. No, it's probably just a special one. I wonder what that means. Oh shit, look at the stuff I got. Oh, well, I can't wear leather. I can only wear cloth. Okay. No. Oh, I did leash him. Okay. I need a target. So did I turn my pet passive for a second? 
special one it was more XP. I'm assuming so. I thought it was just marking, hey, if you kill this dude, you're gonna get a level or something because of what happened when I killed the previous thing that had that. And the previous one didn't seem like, a, like that dude had a name, so like, okay, that's probably just an elite enemy or something. But the previous one was just a... Uh, uh, some spider in a chimney, right? Come on, Murloc, follow, follow, follow. This is so far the creepiest quest, I think. It's like, oh, I am so lonely. Go capture me a Murloc. Gross. Especially because the dude's just sitting there in his bed. This just doesn't seem right. Okay. Is this Murloc going to follow me? Okay, I don't think we actually have to rush because we did shirt loads of things last time after we captured him. Speak quickly. Aha! Isn't it the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Not really. Victory for Sylvanas. He doesn't have a little pool for him to play in. Okay. Then and all these quests. Now I don't know which way to go. There's so many. Wait, we don't even have a main quest anymore? So far it's always guided us in a certain direction. Should I just... I'm assuming this is the, the main quest. Should I just go that way and we'll go see what those are? just run okay wait while I'm here I'm gonna take a quick break me too let the Lou get some water or something as well I'll be right back Hey, I 
just absolutely demolished my pinky toe against the corner of something when I ran to the blue. Ow. Now I know what the forsaken feel like. Now I know why they're so angry. And in pain. I wonder how, how many times I have accidentally banged my pinky toe. You call it your pinky toe? That doesn't sound right. Against something. It would have been cool if you had like stats. Or everything in your life that you could look at. I mean some of it probably won't be that cool, but... Like how many times have you done this? How many times have you done that? Oh, he was the passive from previously. Whoops. Should we just fight as we go? I think I might have actually once broken that toe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Can go to the doctor or something, so. The one does look a bit more bendy than the other. Same with my actual pinkies, where I'm also wondering whether it was fractured or not. I had a little... what's that? I had a, had a stick sword fight with my brother and he reacted badly when I accidentally hit him slightly. And he went all Super Saiyan and he hit me as hard as he could on my hand. And I think I broke a finger but it did hurt for like two months. Hi, pet peeve, hate broken bones. <laughs> yeah, definitely a pet peeve that. But I've never broken like definitely 100% broken a bone. Like I, I think that probably was maybe like a bit of a fracture, but I've never like broken an arm, broken a leg, broke my skull or a rib or any of that. Dislocated my pinky toe once during jujitsu. 90 degrees outwards. Ah, oh, that sounds gross. I don't know why. Maybe you should have kept it like that because you would have like really amazing balance, I think. Does he not auto attack? Oh, oh, I put him on passive. I should have done that. Oh, I thought this was like attack mode, but this is just pick a. I don't have a target. Like tell him to fireball someone, and I accidentally had him on that. I was saying, why do I suddenly fight so much slower? This is in primary school, a birthday party, a classmate, a pillow fight, and the birthday kid fell sideways on the bed frame and broke his arm. Oof. Ugh. Yeah, I, just the idea of a broken um, leg just, I don't know, it grosses me out a little bit. And I think that comes from, um, I don't know if it was an X-Files episode from another series. Uh, I don't know, something like Supernatural or whatever. I don't know where it was from. But I think there was an episode where people's bones just started crumbling. So there's this dude and he's just jogging down the road. And suddenly all the bones in his body just sort of breaks and his leg just sort of disintegrates while he's running. And that has never left my mind. It infected me and just the idea. I have previously just walked down the road and I thought, shit, what if my leg bones just disintegrate right now? And I gross myself out. But I'm really amazed that I never actually broke a bone or... Like a leg or an arm or something growing up because 
the amount of times you fall and you're cycling in the road and you fall so hard you sort of slide 10 meters down the street kind of thing you know the meme with the bicycle with the sticking something in the in the front wheel and the bicycle flips over i've done that on my way to tennis practice and my tennis racket sort of slung over the handlebar and when i turned it twisted and the handle went in between the spokes and i literally did i literally did this So I had my bicycle and I'm just chilling here and then my tennis racket went in there and when that happens bicycle instantly stops and you do this <laughs> that hurt a lot that hurt so much this just stops and you go wheel pain a lot of pain i was fine other than bleeding a little bit i feel if that happened to me now i would have to go to the hospital and i don't think i would ever leave harry potter quidditch scene in the second movie i don't remember that <laughs> it is a weird feeling right just you're just moving down the road as normal when you cycle and suddenly oh i don't think i kick click pick up and then suddenly you just move in a completely different way wait what can i just use this oh that's actually not bad i should keep can i oh it has a cool down okay I feel like maybe this wasn't where I was supposed to go. But there's quests. And there's a dude there with a name. But yeah, the amount of times I fell off my bicycle, I am amazed. That we came out of it whole. I also don't think my brother or my sister ever broke a leg. Or anything. Arcane missiles, oh shit. I killed him first. Man, the worst injury I can think of between our kids was... Um, this is the reason I don't ice skate. My brother went ice skating with his friends. I hate ice skating anyway, it just hurts when I fall. Ice is really hard. Um, and he went ice skating with his friends and he fell and he sort of slid over the ice with his hands sort of forwards and his one friend who at that point weighed like 120 kilos skated towards him and stopped on his hand and basically almost cut his fingers off so he had to get like metal pegs in and all stuff like that since then i've never ice skated again 26 years old never broke anything yet good job Be careful. I don't actually know where I would break something currently because the most dangerous thing I do is I get up from my desk and I walk to a different area of my room where I might then hit my pinky toe against something. I think we are probably not supposed to be here. Maybe we are. I don't know. I don't see... I see that on here, but I don't see it on the mini-map. Does it not show? Oh, it's a dungeon. Oh, I'm concerned that this dungeon's gonna kick... Oh no, maybe not. Never really fell off my bike yet either, the only time I remember falling was scratching my knees a little kid, yeah. Yeah, I fell off the bike a lot, I once almost bit through my tongue when I jumped off a wall. There's so many things where I thought, damn, I can't believe I didn't break anything. Uh, 
But as an adult, I mean, I haven't really done much. Rock climbed a little bit, went hiking a bunch of times. But never really ended up injured. Surprised no broken a bone here, so all the gnarly spells I've taken. Oh, yes. oh, snowboarding, dirt biking, mountain biking, horse. This is why I don't ski, I think. Because every person I know that sort of skis has had a bit of an issue. Like breaking collarbones and stuff like that. I think I'm at that point now where um, I need to just try and preserve, preserve my existence. Yeah, I just hide and hide. Can TV, Can thank you TV so just much. Subscribed. Damn. <laughs> I think this is like my second Prime subscription ever. I was really intrigued that I had TTS for that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I played like, I don't know, a few levels, like seven levels or something. Like ten years ago or whatever. And now I thought, you know what, let's try a few characters. So I played a little bit with the Hunter on, um, I don't know, was it Monday? I can't remember, the days don't make sense anymore. Time has no meaning. And now we're just running around being a badass warlock. Trying to be an electrician, I got two shocks, ooh. Okay, so you do need to be careful, because <laughs> there's worse things than breaking a bone. Is there a quest here? It says available quest. Maybe it's deep. Oh, maybe it's deep in. Maybe it's deep in the dungeon. Try the classic season of Master and release on the 30th. Yeah, I'm kind of just playing the trial, right? So, um, I can only play like the retail version. But if I really end up liking it, I am considering, I'm considering maybe Maybe going for a subscription, maybe. But there's so many characters and things I can still just test out. On them. Oh, um, oh fuck. I got distracted. I'm a little bit... So how are you supposed to... How are you supposed to fight with the warlock? Oh shit, almost died. Uh, can I munch someone? Oh fear, I forgot about fear, I just panicked because I was chatting and I wasn't paying attention, right? And so far, unless something like a, like a big boss, right? There's no real, there's no real threat. Maybe we should not have gone this way. There was a quest icon. Oh, I didn't actually need to fear them. I was the only MMO, no, that's the race of the typical elf, half humans, humans and dwarves. I mean, you've got Final Fantasy XIV that does all kind of weird, funky, funky creatures, right? Let's keep munching. Oh shit, wrong button, I wanted to press cannibalize, what does this do? Removes any charm, fear and sleep, ah. It makes sense that they're immune to fear, right? Ah shit. I just didn't know they could interrupt your attacks. But now they don't. Was that was the other one a special one? Is there a quest down here or am I I just making a big mistake?
Because there was an exclamation mark on the on the map, right? Or is it did that someone send me here for a quest? Don't you munch on that guy. Ah, oh, shit, I still have to go out, right? And everyone's gonna re Ah, oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed middle mouse button. I think middle mouse button's a run. I was gonna say, is everyone gonna respawn on my way out and then I have to fight one of them again? As you can go in Mosca 3 is Dragonborn, but I then Skyrim as well. Yeah. <laughs> Should I kill these guys first? Ice cold milk, that is definitely something I want to discover in a crypt. I should have cursed them first, right? Doesn't look like I have a quest I've done there. Just the one quest you have to returning. Yep, I assumed um I assumed exclamation mark meant there is a quest. Oh there is a quest. Unless someone sends me for this. Okay. Or maybe it's not. Maybe this is how it's supposed to work. Go in, get the quest. And leave? I hope it is. It's interesting how her um, targeting box is just the top of her body excluding her hair. <laughs> so you just see the outline of her head. Can I? If I run... Ah oh, shit. This is gonna be a mistake, right? How long is aggro? How many people are going to follow me? I need to get closer. Phew. Okay, we lost Agro. Yay! Everyone does some other races. Many of them are Alzi ones as Fox. Yes. Yeah, it's it's mostly um, Cat Boy, Bunny Boy, and then and Big Boy. <laughs> That's the. That's the various races in um, in Final Fantasy XIV. We're gonna regen. How does that work? But I, I really like generic fantasy. I like humans and elves and dwarves. Yeah, my tail, sure, okay. Dark lady, watch over you. I think we were supposed to talk to him first. Beware the living. This is in line for temper, blah blah blah, and death has done no favors. How do you look at someone's skull and says, yep, that's definitely this person? Ah, uh, strongest point in the malls is the family crypt. Yeah, we should have come to him first, right? And then gotten this quest, kill everything on the way in, get the skull, come back. What's this? Drain life. Does this work for things that aren't alive? I play some hours while I'm playing the fancy world, just play a human with a slightly pointy ears again. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends. Oh, that, that was actually quite cool. I feel that worked well. I just feel like sometimes when games try to be too creative, they just end up with all these terms and names for things that are almost unpronounceable. But this thing is basically still a dwarf, right? They're just calling it a, a Garzagor or whatever. And you're like, what the fuck? Just say dwarf. But sometimes it's very cool, like um, comparing like Morrowind to Oblivion, right? Morrowind is 100% a more interesting environment. Oh, and WoW has yeah, cow people, like a minute, minotaur thing, right? You see them everywhere. And it's got the pandas. 
which definitely is something a little bit different. Is drain life better than just shadow bolting then? I don't know. I'm trying to think of another game that has cool cool things, but I just can't. But I think if, if you if you don't go generic then you have to be like quite good. Oh shit, I forgot to click the button. Then if you make up some stupid nonsense it's gonna seem sillier than if you just stuck with the generic stuff. I mean, there's an exact game I'm thinking of that had this issue for me and I can't think of what it was. Just blocked it out completely. Okay, one more Wailing Ancestor and then two more Rotting Ancestors. Oh, that, did that thing curse me? That asshole. Kill those two over there. Was a rift the game? Just the word rift sounds familiar, but I don't know if that's the context. Sounds so familiar. Yeah, I've never been a big MMO person. Probably because it's got the word multiplayer in. Um, and I generally don't play multiplayer games. I am forsaken. Yay. That was weird. Nulls overrun. Um, Skirt right from base here. Okay, cool. Skirt and multi destroyed. Collect notched ribs from rattle cage and crack skull soldiers. Black and skulls. Okay, go kill stuff. That's in a family. Oh, we're gonna get a cool staff. A cool staff that does less damage. Oh, but it has stats that increases. Which I'm assuming is better for me because I don't actually attack with the staff, right? Unless spell damage is based on your staff damage, I don't actually know how it works. But yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm going to cool rift quickly. The ultimate fantasy MMORPG. It's funny, if you cool rift, you get the game first and then the rift tax refunds. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm in the UK. Uh, rift, rift, rift. Why is this stuff that... Why does that almost look familiar? I didn't play Rift, did I? Hang on. I did play some MMO ages ago, just for free for a while. No, I don't think it was Rift. But yeah, it looks like it's still... Still going strong. Still events and things happening. I think there are probably loads of, like, niche MMOs that people still play a lot. Weapon damage doesn't matter for casters. Oh, stat sticks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect name for it. 
Well, let's explain it fairly well. Nice. Okay, so that staff is going to be better for me because even though it does less damage, like this does 24 damage and my staff does like one. Oh, two to three. Ooh. Wow. Oh, yeah, you got something else when you Googled Rift. Yeah, you got the sciency equivalent. What is that? It's a little... A little fish ghost? Probably not. Just looks a little fishy. I wonder if I'm not supposed to be here. I can't wait until I can get more, um, more pets. I still can't remember. There's one MMO that I played. That's well, just for a month or so. It seemed chill. It was free, but I just, just can't remember what it was. Oh, I forgot to click my button. I don't remember, right? It's an MMO. To me, most of them are fairly generically the same, right? I definitely played maybe the either the Lord of the Rings one or um or Neverwinter. Well I played that for a while. But there was something else that was free as well. But this is so long ago. This is like 2009. And my memory doesn't go back that far. Or things that weren't important. I've never played Elder Scrolls Online. I just assumed it's gonna annoy me because I like Elder Scrolls games and I hate online. So I was worried it was gonna ruin it for me. Ooh. Oh, we killed him earlier. Oh, we have to kill him again. Let's suck up his undead life. No, it wasn't Guild Wars either. I can't remember. I think it was Korean. But that's that doesn't say much, right? There are hundreds of Korean MMOs out there, I'm assuming. It wasn't that wonderful either, right? I was just a bit bored. And didn't have a lot of money. And yeah, no, definitely not. Ever it wasn't a big famous one. I forgot about EverQuest. Is that still going on? Do you still play EverQuest? Die, Nessa Agamond. Agamond? Oh shit. Let's kill that guy first. Oh shit. They're interrupting me. It's not really doing much. She's way tougher than the other guy we fought. No Quest 2 still has x packs coming out? Okay. I think there's just so many MMOs that like, had their fans and people kept on playing. Should I even be exploring? Is there ever a reason to explore? Aeon sounds familiar, but and it was probably so generic. I could look at a screenshot and I wouldn't even know. I just need to go through all my old emails again, probably. Oh, I don't want to fight her again. We need to fight Gregor and Thurman.
Don't want to aggro everyone. Yeah, it's amazing that there's been so many MMOs and none of them at the time got as big as WoW did. Which I don't know whether it was that World of Warcraft just did something better or was it just it was... I mean it wasn't even the first, right? EverQuest was before. And um... What's the other one? Uh, talked about it earlier. Can't remember. Like it's not like WoW was the first MMO, right? I don't even know what it really did different. Why did everyone stop playing it? Was it just more user friendly? Oh, RuneScape is what I'm thinking of. Because yeah, RuneScape, RuneScape was there before. Wow, wasn't it? Okay, we killed this one. Now we just need to kill Gregor before the other one respawns. Look at him swinging his little hands around when he runs. Cute. Oh, I dodged. I didn't even know I could dodge. Did I play Terra? No, I don't think so. I think I remember Terra, but I don't think I ever played it. And I think Terra, I just think all elf-like people wearing, like, chainmail bikini, right? <laughs> or am I thinking of the wrong Korean-ish MMO? What's this little guy doing here? I'm not going to attack him, but he does look lost. Yeah, there's just so many MMOs. It's a pity there aren't that many single-player RPGs around. It's been so long since there was a an action RPG. Like a third-person action RPG that wasn't a Souls-like. I feel everyone who made those kinds of RPGs all started making Souls-likes. Which is still, still good, right? But I miss just a standard old single player RPG can save when I want and quick save before a boss that kind of thing blah 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 yep we completed yay we got a stuff destroy the remains you given me blah 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 all except for these level and armor argument we can shop down in life fine no water bottle Weird noises. Oh yeah, Fable. Isn't there a new Fable coming out at some point? I loved the first one, and the second one and the third one was just sort of meh. Dark lady, watch over you. But I wonder if the only reason I enjoyed Fable 1 is because I knew nothing about it before we started. I run this way around. Yeah, we can always circle around, right? Let's follow the road. Let's be a good little traveler, man. But yeah, I, I just like the first fable. It's the first time I feel like I played a game where you sort of play over a big lifetime of a character. And then the second one, the third one, I just felt like it was way more about, I don't know, making emotes at people, ooh hoo ha ha, let's fart three times, kind of thing, and now everyone thinks you're disgusting, and armor didn't really exist anymore, it was all just sort of clothes for, like, how do you want to look versus what has stats. I still enjoyed playing it, 
I still finished all of them, but none of them came close to that first fable. Man, that was so good. Are these like zombie... Zombie werewolves? Quite werewolves, are they? I haven't found a single chest. I don't know if there are chests in this area of the game. Oh shit, it's a dude. With a name. Maggot Eye. Oh, he's got a little exclamation mark. Does that mean he's going to be a quest? We got cursed. No, not. I cursed into a very purple person. Torchlight, yeah. Torchlight's the same. First torchlight, good. The rest, eh. And that also turned a bit shitty because they wanted to make like an online thing, right? And they changed their mind and then Torchlight 3 was just meh. What is this? Big potion wagon? You take a little sippy. Is it undead juice? Prentice Crispin. Hi, how are you? Hey, bro. Uh, let's sell some stuff to him. Ooh, a 12 slot bag. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do place. this, I just realized I'm not wearing my best gear. Um, no gear over here. I never equipped this staff, which gives me... Oh, this staff, sorry. This one, which gives me more intellect. Bam. And I never equipped these legs. Okay, I get why they wear robes. I need to get a vest. I need to get more robes rather than this vest I'm wearing. Action RPGs and really enjoyed First Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, that was great. Um, I tried playing it through again and I realized I'm just not enjoying it the second time. Wait, what? Offhand beer. That gives me intellect and versatility. I'm assuming I can't actually... Like my offhand's full because that's two-handed, right? But if I could get a dagger or something, it gives me some stats. Let's ignore that and let's sell. Uh, let's keep... Let's keep some things. Um, let's sell. Can't use that. Oh, milk. I don't know if I want to keep it all. Got a healing potion. Ice staff. Uh, water, gloves, meat. Oh, I can't sell this one. Say that could be an interesting money-making scheme. I feel bad selling all the things. I feel I need to hang on to some of them. Very story driven day, so once you find it the mystery, it was much fun. Yeah, I didn't enjoy um I didn't enjoy the combat that much. Because you actually have to sort of if you play on high difficulty, I have to set up the traps and make sure you do the right thing. And at some point, I just wanted to see the story. But yeah, I did enjoy it a lot. It was good. I'm keen on playing the second one at some point in the future. How do I sort this again? That. Ah. Okay. Be seeing you. Can I help Let's you? Talk to him. You have a great day now. But yeah, I just want something like, you know, the old gothic games or, um, I think more of an RPG rather than just like action. I just said action when I actually just meant not turn-based. With a single character. I 
feel I can get more into a game when I'm just my character versus I have a party of four or five or six or whatever. And I don't really feel like I have a character. I like it when it's just me. Maybe like one follower, maybe max. Like the old Dungeon Siege. I wish they could make a Dungeon Siege remake. Dungeon Siege 1 was amazing. 2 was good. 3 was... Ugh. I have played all the Fallout games except Fallout 76. And you can probably guess why. Gotta wait six years and Spider-Man 2 gets ported to PC. <laughs> I haven't played the first two. Oh, sorry, the first one and the... the is the Miles Morales one like a... standalone DLC game? I don't know why that one doesn't count as like... the second game. Don't know, but I haven't played them yet. Maybe I should. That's the... Like, the PlayStation games usually are fairly great. Like, you've got all these nice story games. Like, Last of Us was amazing. I'm going to play that again at some point on PC when it's on an amazingly huge sale. I want to play God of War. I want to play the Ragnarok. But before I do that, I'll play the first one through again. Um, like, I don't think... I'm trying to think of those kinds of games these days. That's not PlayStation. I can't really think of anything. Like something that just has a cool story. And it's fairly linear. And it's good. Uh, yeah, I almost spoiled God of War for me because I tried to do those really hard fights against those Valkyries or whatever and I sucked too badly. And in the end, I just sort of gave up, and I just finished the, the story. Alrighty then. Which side did I take in Fallout 4? Fallout 4 had the Minutemen, and the Brother of Steel, and the Android people, right? I probably just went with the Minutemen. Ah. Fallout 4 was not great. I feel they they try to make a shooter, but they're not good at shooter mechanics, so it just ended up being a bit more meh. I still enjoyed it a lot, and every now and then. I should probably do it again. Just go install shitloads of mods and just explore around and shoot things. I just feel like Bethesda... Man, this sounds so incredibly arrogant. But I don't think Bethesda understands Fallout. Hello. Like, I feel they just take every single enemy that appears in every single previous Fallout and just plop them in there. And like, ooh, it's post-apocalyptic. Let's, it's 200 years later. This, let's leave the skeleton there. There's like no cool communities people have built. Not every Fallout game needs... Death claws. Not every Fallout game needs mutants, right? It's just, yeah, they could have done so much better. I actually like the. What was the Fallout game where you were like a squad? It was a tactical. A tactical shooter, like a squad based um, strategy. You sort of travel around, you get better guns and stuff. You're like a mercenary group or something. I can't remember what it's called. I think most people hated that, but I loved that game. It was so good. And man, I only played Fallout 4. <gasps> now Fallout 3 was fine. Fallout New Vegas was great. Um, I do miss the old Fallouts. The, the isometric ones. But still... Chill. Oh. Trust no one. Let's get the doom weed. Oh no, that We're sounds rough. Living. But yeah, you should give it a go. Um, it depends how. If you play Fallout 4 as like an actual shooter where you aim and you shoot and stuff, then you're probably going to be maybe a little bit disappointed in um, in Fallout 3. 
or near Vegas. But I like playing with that. Bats? Bats, yeah. I actually missed Vats when I was playing Starfield. I was like, shit, I wish we had Vats. Just pause and aim. Click, 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 click and click go and you just do headshot, headshot, headshot. Good times. Good times. But you could probably install some really great mods to make the old Fallouts look good. Maybe. Man, now I might actually want to play Fallout again. Need to get a cool mod pack. See if there's a bunch of new stuff. Because uh, starting to play um, Starfield just made me want to wander around and explore and find stuff. Like the more I played Starfield, the more I actually just wanted to play Fallout or Skyrim again. I love Starcraft. I'm terrible at it. I've never been good at them. Um, like RTS games. I always... I've. I always just played them um, against like bots and stuff and I played the campaign. But these days when I play the campaign I just put it on easy because I don't want to struggle, I just want to turtle up. Wait, we need to go get some doom weed, okay. Like my way of playing RTS games is I just turtle up and build like this massive defendable base and then I go out and I kill the other guy and usually in an actual strategic game you sort of run out of resources before then. I need to go kill a bunch of people again. Oh, let's close my bags. Why are they still open? Let's kill these rot mongrel. Rot mongrel sounds like a horrible insult. Start of Fallout 3 was just looking too muddy for me. Yeah, okay. It does look like someone smeared some kind of shit over a camera. Some kind of green. It's another Bethesda thing, right? These filters. Nothing can ever just look natural. Everything needs some kind of weird colored filter over it. But just the, just the wandering around, finding stuff. Finding some shack and there's some quest in there that sends you to a cave. Is he going to steal my doomweed? He's saying it's my... Doomweed, even though he would have been there first anyway. Let's go this way. Stay away from the real people. But yeah, I, I completely understand why people have stopped just focusing on these big single player games because they just make less money, right? You are going to make so much more money on these live service games. It's, it just sucks because it ruins so many different games and so many different um, IPs. I was at a point convinced Bethesda was never going to make a single player one again after they did Elder Scrolls Online and then Fallout 76. I feel like if Fallout 76 actually worked out, I don't know if they would have ever made another single player Fallout. We're going to have to see if they will. Yeah, it's a pity with micro... I mean, we shouldn't even be calling them microtransactions these days, right? Because they're not micro. It's big chunks of money. I feel like microtransactions should have been like, oh, sure, I'll buy this helmet for 50 cents. Or this entire armor set for a dollar. That's a microtransaction. A microtransaction isn't, hey, there's a horse, I'm going to pay $20 for it. And I don't think we're ever going to get rid of those. This, that's standard now. It's so weird that that used to just not be a thing. And Beth, when Bethesda came up with their horse armor, there was outrage. How dare you sell cosmetics for a single player game? And now suddenly it's, it's normal. People don't even complain. Everybody just goes, oh, how dare you whine about this, you entitled person. It's just cosmetics. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, it does. Um, because the entire game gets designed around having to run online. So you have to buy their cosmetics to look cool. No more just mod shit in the way you want it to. No more when you're bored of the game. Just go change something about it. It's like, no. 
you have to play online, you have to log in so other people can see this clown suit you bought that fits in really well in this fantasy world. But luckily, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of clever indie developers who are just going to keep on making really cool games. So it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things what the big companies do. Because there are enough. There are enough indie companies making cool stuff. I also got six MBS sub-based mobile multiplayer experience. I was actually really surprised when Starfield came out and it's not a game wrapped around a... Um, a shop selling cosmetics. I was really surprised. I thought they were going to go all in. I was like 90% sure it was going to have some weird funky monetization. I just didn't trust them at all. I was very, very wrong. It ended up being a game just wrapped around nothing. <laughs> no, I, need, I need to get back to Starfield at some point. Um, maybe after they've tweaked it a bit or there's some better mods out there. At the moment, it just feels like a, a really good framework for a game. It just needs the, the game bit. You ever see the video of the announcement of Diablo Immortal? Yeah, man. But sometimes, like, they should have fired their PR people, right? You can't make that your big announcement or a big event. That's about your biggest fans like you have to know how that group of people how they feel about mobile games right it was just so dumb it could have been a non-issue i mean okay people still would have complained but it wouldn't have been a, an issue it's just so stupid this just shows how how out of touch the money people are in those kinds of companies. Do you guys have phones? Yeah, I usually call your mom. That's just so dumb. And yeah, people still play Diablo Immortal. I need to kill more grave robbers. Oh, oh it's a gnoll. Assuming the G is silent and it's like gnome. Or it's not a gnome, so it's not a gnoll. Or is it a gnoll? I'm, I'm gonna assume the G is vaguely silent-ish. It's Halapay to win, man. But they made fuck tons of money, so of course they put all of that in Diablo 4 as well. I'm very salty when it comes to Blizzard. And Diablo was my favorite, one of my favorite series of games. And now it's just not there anymore. It doesn't exist for me. I'll give it a go if they ever just, you know, go completely free to play, then fine. I'm just not going to pay money for a games as a service game. Maybe if they put it on, um, on Game Pass, I'll give it a go. And see, can you play it and just ignore everyone else? I don't want random people running around in my Diablo world. But I've heard so many people say... Um, like playing through the story, it's actually really, really, really good. It's just um, when you get to the end game, it sucks. Which, like, it's not like Diablo Two had end game, right? But Diablo Three, I actually enjoyed the the rifts and things they had. Play Diablo 4 and the story was good, just the grind fest, I don't like that. Mm. I, I don't even mind the grind fest. I just don't want to have to run around in a world 
and join up with oh i'm in a new town oh wait let's go turn those quests in i don't want to run around and accidentally meet up with people to have to go fight a a world boss that doesn't spawn in the three hours i can play now and i have to sign in later today to go do it i just don't want to do that and i don't want to see a shop full of items like if you want to do cosmetic shop then your game has to be free like i play path of exile their items are ridiculously expensive as well i'll buy stash tabs and cosmetic slots and stuff like that because i have put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into the game so they do deserve some of my money but i'm not gonna throw them 20 dollars for an armor set that's just nonsense and i'm also not gonna pay 70 and buy the game and then have to see a cosmetic shop every time i sign in that's just nonsense but luckily, yeah, so many other people make action RPGs. They're cool again. We have, like, the Grim Dawn people just keeps on working on their game. I think there's a new big patch for that soon. There's going to be a Titan Quest 2, which I'm excited about. Doomweed, not to be confused with Gloomweed, or Wombweed, or Broomweed. Or Doom Seed. I almost thought I said Womb Seed, and I thought that sounds dodgy. Dark lady, watch over you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yes. I am leveled up. Uh, experiments, poisoning, some hapless victims. Child's play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Several scales from Murlocs. Okay. Trust no one. Hey. Uh, grave robbers. Have a great day now. Off and away. Cool. Be Thanks, little bro. Magatai is a fell beast. Haven't I killed Magatai already? Alrighty then. Oh shit! It's a big fucking dragon. Be seeing you. Uh. Wait, wait, what? Uh, chase 12 valve and tadpoles until they pass out in fear. Alrighty then. There's always someone that says, go kill people, and the other one's just, go do a mean prank. What the fuck's this thing? It has a very fluffy buffalo thing. Very cute. Like the infamous series. I'm really wonder when I've played that. Combat specializations. Ooh. I think we're gonna go demonology so we can summon more demons. And when I googled World of Warcraft solo warlock, I saw a lot of the word demonology, so we're going for that. Commander of demons who twist the souls of the powerful power blah blah blah. Devastating power. Preferred weapon, staff wand, dagger sword, into oh so we can get a wand, right? I'm going to wand in my one hand and that beer stein in the other one. Hand of Gul'dan. Gul'dan demonic meteor full of wild imps. Oh shit. That is crazy. Summon demonic tyrant. To increase the duration of your dread stalkers. Wild fiends, fell god. I don't know what any of these are. I recognize some of the words but that's from Hearthstone. Uh, okay. Yeah. Talents. Don't we start off the other time with a point in each? Demonic circle, teleport, teleport to teleport to its location, I move on moons when you 
effects. Burning rush, that sounds like a disease. Fell domination. Demon skin. Soulish absorption, our passive recharges at a rate of 20% of maximum health. Am I now absorbed to 8% of maximum health? Oh, soul leech. Soul leech? Oh, I'm probably... I need to put it on my bar. Hang on, let's not pick something. Um, <laughs> and of Gul'dan. Oh, this costs... Soul shards. Okay. I'm assuming this isn't something I cost often. I don't even know how to get more soul shards. Oh, soul leech is a passive. All single target damage done by you and your minions grant you and your pet shadow shield at all 3% of maximum damage. Okay. Okay, yeah, special teleport abilities. We know how they work. Ah, it's all sort of generated by your shadow bolt. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You always go necromancer? Mm hmm. I want to try something different for a change. And I heard it was good. Is this the sort of necromancer one? But isn't there a separate class that's necromancer? Probably not. Dragon riding. I should probably have looked at these ages ago, right? Time is it? Oh shit, it's three and a half hours, just gone. Damn. Shoot. Attack with wand, okay. Two attack, that's skill I already had. Oh, fine, let's spend my talent point. Um. Let's click this. Cool. Well, that's intense. Don't I have like a... Do I need to go buy a pet? Giddy up. Where was... Collections. Oh, is this all the stuff I've unlocked? When you picked kind of necromancer ish, ah. Yeah, this is just summon cool kick ass demons. When can I summon more? Okay, no, I still only have the one. So that used the soul shot. Adventure guide? I don't know what that is. What's that? Achievements and stuff. Okay, so I learned apprentice riding, right? But don't we get a don't we get a pet or do we get that later? Assuming we get that later. Let's go kill this maggot eye dude again. I'm sure I killed him earlier. I haven't gotten any cool wrong button. 
Anything cool I can equip, right? No. Yeah, what's this dude? What's the carriage thing? I mean, the other big carriage thing with like the big jaws on them. What I want to do is I want to do this. Oh, and then it, oh, it summons them around me. Look at all my, look at all my little guys. Look at us go. Oh, yeah. Damn it, Murloc. Oh, looking the wrong way. Oh, this isn't such a, like, intensely good spell, then I could might as well have kept... I need to, I don't know, assign keys or things to these bars as well. It'd be nice if I could just, like, control one or shift one or, or alt one or something. Need to go look into what people actually do. Yeah, these things are just standing around, no idea what they are. Magatai. You have a great day now. Off and away. Okay, I get a shitty belt. Bell, no belt. You have a great day now. Why would I want that? Not I. In flax belt, fine. No difference, really, right? That could be fell. Is fell like, I don't know, demon juice. Oh wait, should I summon? Hang on, I should probably put my summons over here, right? Because how, like in combat, how often do I have to click summon? It's demon juice, nice. Oh yeah. Did he eat my little guy? Little guy disappeared, shit. What does he do? Consuming shadows. Threatening presence. Oh, well, that's cool that he keeps keeps a threat going. Okay. Yeah, if he can tank him while I shoot him, that's that's fine. Yeah, so he just did his little thing. Okay. I'm assuming later on I can summon more than one at once, or...? Is that not really a thing? I did read that this is a little bit more complicated than just playing something like a hunter or whatever, but... I don't know. Okay, so we're chasing these guys, right? This just feels mean. Okay, wait, I'm gonna let that dude do his quest. I can chase him when he's gone. We can kill these guys while they're busy.
and we are sort of kicking ass but these are probably not the highest difficulty monsters <laughs> Oh, this is where I sacrifice some of my health to heal the demon, right? Oh, that's a quest item, I'm assuming. Awesome kicking butt. Because I'm so good. Like, yeah. <laughs> because it's so big in a zone. And these are Murlocs. Blah. I could make a Murloc sound years and years ago. When we played. We used to... Um, like me and like two friends, we used to play a lot of Hearthstone, but we used to go to the dude's house to play. We each bring our tablets and you sit across the table from someone, and I feel like that is, that is the right way to play, rather than just anonymously online. And then, yeah, when you summon your murlocs, you need to make a little murloc sound. Especially when you summon, like, a lot of murlocs, just in case they forget. Good times, good times. That's the reason I bought the tablet in the first place. To play Hearthstone at someone's house. Good times. Leave me alone, we're, we're scaring tadpoles down it. off. Or if you muck the weller. <laughs> Every single like job okay, they deserve a big hand of Gul'dan. Every um Murloc job name just sounds like a horrible insult to someone. There's this new Warcraft Rumble mobile. I don't even know what that is. Very strange that I haven't even heard of it. Do they just not advertise? Or is it very new? Like I don't go like I don't go look for like information about Blizzard Games, but I do spend all day at my PC. Run you little tadpoles. Pass out from fear. Be afraid. I mean, if this dude, if this dude without any eyes chased me, I would probably pass out from fear as well. Run. Cool. We've done all the little quests. There are a lot of just little quests, right? I feel like this could keep a person busy for a very long time. Oh man, I'm level 10 already. I think I enjoy the Warlock more than I did the Hunter. Kind of reverse tower defense where you send a unit stack at the other player's tower or they said units at yours. Why does that sound familiar? Very new came out like two weeks ago. It's very weird that I just haven't heard anything about it then. Am I just not... Like, usually... Like, you would see headlines from, like... I don't know, from Eurogamer or whatever. Maybe I just missed it. Or maybe when I see Blizzard and something, I just ignore it. Or I thought maybe it was an actual WoW thing. Off and away. That they run away from you. Good. It's better than killing them. What? Oh, oh, we want them to grow up and the future generations will fear us. Alrighty then. Okay, that's chill. Speak quickly. 
I almost read Apothecary. <laughs> Ooh, cauldron gloves. Not like it's any better at all than what I currently have, but fine. Our time will come. I'm never going to get used to pressing B instead of pressing A. Like, okay. And there's no difference even. Oh no, there is a difference on my character, okay. Fine. Probably pretty shy about mobile games. Oh yeah, they probably <laughs> they probably paid a PR team to keep it secret from mainstream gaming. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with them making mobile games. That's perfectly fine, right? They were just they were just a bit um Why is that? Oh, it's a person. I think, why are they on the minimap like that? Yeah, they just shouldn't make it the main event to advertise at a convention. That's mostly for people who don't like mobile games. When do I get a pet? Hang on. Collections. I mean, I don't really, don't really care about transmog things. Okay, this, like I did say in the beginning, like ropes and stuff, I'm not too into it. But then you click on this, I'm like, yeah, okay, ropes. It's just too, man, what do you call it when you stand like this? Looks like he's just been riding horses all his life. Did he have a stance in character creation as well that I didn't click? Oh, did I screw up? I remember the orc had like a toggle for standing up straight or being hunched over. Gonna be a cowboy baby, yeah. He does look like he's got the bow legs from too much undead horse riding. I'm just coming in this town. Fine. Is there anything else? Okay, now we're finally fine. But I think we were supposed to go this way, get to the town, and then go this way to these quests. Probably did things uh, the wrong way around, but that's okay, we survived. I thought we were going to die at some point, but we didn't. So you misunderstood the audience, I missed this comment. Uh, time the whole community is respecting the now Diablo 4. Yeah, that's the, that's the mistake. The mistake isn't we made a mobile game. The mistake is everybody is just wishing and hoping and thinking that they're going to announce Diablo 4 and then they go surprise mobile game and everyone's like oh shit what the fuck is this an April Fool's joke but no it wasn't I need to figure out how this teleport thing works like is it for like I put it out the dungeon and then I teleport out, or is it in combat I teleport around a little bit so people don't hit me? Executor Zealand. Uh, blah blah blah. General well stocked. Weapon dealer, take the order to bat handler a net. It's an interesting job. What do you do? I'm a, I'm a bat handler. Huh. I don't know if it's like a, a cricket bat or a baseball bat or like a flying around in the dark bat. 
Don't even know where that starting area is though. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this world. I can go on the map and zoom out for you so you can look. Mickey Mobile, you can place a target, run around and then teleport back to it to get away from mobs. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this is where we are, in Azeroth. So we're here. Terrace full glades. 1 to 30, pet level 1 to 2. Pet level? Or is this like if you're a, a hunter and you want to capture some pets, is that like pet level? I don't know where this is. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know any of these. Are these different continents? A world? No, it's different worlds. I don't even know. Huh. Now oh, there's Pandaria. I've heard of Northrend, I've heard of Kalimdor, I've heard of Pandaria, I've heard of Zandalar. That's about it. Azrod wants a full offense against the ruins of Lordaeron. Only I knew where that was. No idea. We'll get there at some point. Different kind of pets, pet, pet, or mini game. Oh shit. Yeah, I should buy a mount. Do you want to look at the world again? Bam. Shadowlands, Outland. I feel like Outland is from where the dudes in Mortal Kombat's from, isn't it? Draenor. Wasn't this a expansion? Don't know anything about this. At all. I feel like I know about as much as my character does, which is good. I like that. I very much dislike when my character and, and me are in a different information level. Different areas, different expansions. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's complete Gordo's task. The shadows beckon. Blah blah blah, gloomweed. The dead shall serve. Oh, he doesn't need gloomweed, okay. This better be. uh, Savannah has called upon them, challenge us to contact a new plague. Oh, nice. The blood of beasts might prove to be the key. Okay, sure. He had another quest. What does the shadow will? Okay, maybe he didn't. Man, I am really into this right now. I can... I can understand how people could spend a large chunk of their lives playing this, because every game is more fun when you play with people, right? Like, with friends, not with randos. This dude's gonna give me a horse. No, he isn't. What now? It's got to an encroaching or a homeland. Because, yeah, it's man, you have three, four different friends and you all play this every day after work man i will never sleep Remember. uh he does wipe the human infestation from the land so oh, damn captain perrine perrine perrini i don't really know perrini killed his three zealots and three of his missionaries Okay, the f the fourth zealot and the fourth mission is going to be like, oh, thank fuck, we're not getting murdered. Beware the living. Oh, Chief Command, Silverpine Forest. Time will come. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Help is needed against routing the enemy infestation. I also don't know if it's routing or routing. I feel like routing is the thing you do with like a power tool, right? I don't know. Reach for second high command, you must travel south through Terrasfall Glades. Okay. 
onward, brother. Destiny calls. Trust no one. Destiny calls, but I am not answering my phone at the moment. Destiny sounds like a spam call. Okay, we're gonna... Ew. Gross. Oh, there's all these... Bandage trainer. Alchemy and herbalism supplies. Oh, is there crafting skills as well? Yeah, but it's, it's, it'll probably be pulled out the root of the infestation when it was like R-O-O-T. I just never know how to pronounce whether it's rooting or routing because it depends on the context, what right? And when you have like network stuff, is it a router or a router? Which one should you say? Does it actually just depend on whether you're like English or American? I don't know. Oh, the bats are how we fly. Goodbye. Uh, order for supply. She'll want to take this to the Undercity. Okay. Dark lady, watch over you. My bats can take it to the Undercity. Okay. Trust no one. I don't want to go on a bat just yet. I want to see if I can buy a mount. Or do we get a mount? And ask me on German. And... I feel like maybe asking a second language person would be better than asking a first language person. American, we say router as a network equipment. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't even know what people say around here. When people say differently, are they just saying it differently? Or are they mispronouncing it? About your business. Do we want to... I'm assuming... Am I going to get a free mount like you did when we follow the other beginner quest? <laughs> I say for Mittelander Networks. I can't even say that. It sounds like you added a few extra letters in there. Too many consonants for German. Do we need to buy a, a mount or am I going to get one? Because I got one for free. When I played the other start. I don't know. One accidental M. Are those two K's next to each other? Oftentimes I can decipher German. When the words are almost like Afrikaans. But in this case. and I don't quite get that one. Oh yeah, you say route for highways and stuff, like route, route 96 or whatever. I don't actually know, I think over here they'll say, oh, which route are you going? No, they probably wouldn't even say that. They'd probably say, say, what the fuck, why are you driving, take the train. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> Repair, repair, sell junk, walking stick. Now let's sell a bunch of shit. I don't know if I have to hang on to health items, but... Oh, putting uh, people to sleep. Let's keep that. Let's sell that. Do a little, a little sort. Farewell. That's a very Taylor word nobody uses. Yeah, and there are Afrikaans words for all kinds of tech stuff, like computer stuff and network stuff and whatever, but I feel like outside of you work at the Afrikaans department at the university. People don't use the Afrikaans words. There's a very big reason I did my computer studies at school in English and I did all my computer study stuff in English because nobody wants to use those dumb words. 
It just doesn't sound right. What's this? Oh, Solana statue. Ooh. Do they have to make her so sexy? What have we got up here? Just a little house. Lots of candles. Is it worth for a mediating network or not? Oh, the Knolten. Okay. Uh, okay. Not in other ones would bring Knoop, so I didn't get the. I feel like sometimes German words are almost closer to English than they are. If you're gonna mount during the other intro area, they are account wide. Mounts. Oh. Where did I get these? I got this one. With my other dude. Where the hell did I get these guys from? Just because I'm cool? Falsties of being a warlock? And dread steed? Craves only foul energy, not apples. It hates the seeds. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's a trial thing. And you ride it like around the around the block and then suddenly it switches off and it says. Aha. Wait, total mounts four. One, two, three. Enhance your mount with mount equipment. Did they change how maths worked? Like in, since I... <laughs> I don't know, since when? Let's wait $25 to use this mount more than 15 minutes. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when, when you hit combat, it just stops running. Where's my fourth mount? Or is my fourth mount my legs? Or is it because I have one of these equipped to my other character? I can't take him. But I think I just have a basic old dire wolf. Oh, I should probably summon him from my other character. I might actually just go for this one because... This one's too ornate for how I look at the moment. I feel I need... I'm just going to embarrass my horse by not looking stylish enough. I need to be on this one. I'm just intrigued why it says four and why I only have three. Unless one of them is invisible. Unless it's unlocked and they don't put it... There are so many mounts. I don't want to click on anything and go, Ooh, that looks so cool. Yeah, I am intrigued. It's a zenith overseer. Oh. Oh, shit. Big chicken. Oh, damn. I literally said I wasn't going to click on anything. Oh, what's this cute little animal? That's not cute at all. Oh, damn. Big froggo. It's just dumb. Okay. I'll say the free version you're going to mount on the story. You could only use a few hours before you had to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, horsey. Horses' legs look a little bit longer than most horses. Okay, so. Where is summon my mount? Is there a summon my mount? 
skill? Is that just the button I need to press? Aha. Uh -huh. Summon random favor. Okay, wait, no, that's not what we want. Where's just... Where's just the butt? Oh, I'm an idiot. I do that. Some days, some days I am concerned about me. And I wonder, how did that happen? How did I get to be the way I am? Talk to Severin. Do I need to do the other quest first before I can do this? I usually in games don't actually use mounts. Oh, he's upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. Do I need to do... Do I need to do this? Yeah. Then... It's down here. Ooh, demon trainer. So what do... What do the trainers do? Is this an obliteration of a current minion, so you may summon an entirely new one? Beware the living. Huh? I don't have another minion yet, do I? No. Yes, I've got to train it to learn your new spells, but they change it so you just get them automatically. Ah, because yeah, I've been wondering what the hell's up with the trainers. Or do they help you respec or something, maybe? I'm listening. Remember, patience. Oh, that was this quest. Ah, uh, I'm going to try and. One and two, up you're prepared. Prepared for what? Trust no one. I'll the frozen throw lies dormant. The grounds and machine wants out. It's going to be weaker. Blah, blah, blah. Speak with the shadow priestess. Okay. And participate in the extraction of... Be extracting me out of his skull. Goodbye. A fresh report from the death god. Okay. Okay, we're gonna chat to a death god. Man, I'm playing for four hours, so I'm probably going to end stream imminently. Any second now. What's going on? Oh, that's all the pets. Yeah, let's get the dark hound blood at least. So at least do something. Of end on a on a quest completion. I didn't get um, taunted or aggroed or whatever the hell the word is. Just one more quest here. Just, just the one, just the one.
I didn't realize it's been this long. I thought I've only been streaming for like two hours or something. I was not going to do a four hour stream because I feel like shit and I was going to go to bed early and I still have to do something. I do not know where the last like hour and a half went. It's not like it's, there's a super immersive storyline or something, right? I need a target. What are you doing here? Back off, face the wrath of the Walken. Quest discovered. Walken row grooming is an infamous and he has to go blah 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 blah. Okay. Don't go report. First, we are hunting dark hounds. I don't understand why I'm having so much fun. I think this is just what I want at the moment. Um, doing little side quests, getting items, leveling up, discovering how a new game works. It's just a pity it's not an amazing single player. RPG and it's a MMO but I do think not knowing how World of Warcraft works is a gap in my gamer knowledge so maybe it's a good thing it's a good thing we're giving it a bit of a test okay you get cooldowns whatever and damn wait how long do these little dudes stick around forward to Elder Scrolls 6 in two years I I doubt it right I wonder oh there's another one of those last little guys oh here's the ruins of Lordaeron um I need one more maxing gameplay of nothing stressing for new stuff Taking progress. It, it's just chill. If the game started out with you have to group up with a bunch of people to go do a dungeon, to go do this, to go do that, then um, definitely wouldn't have liked it. Okay, hmm, we have a demonology point. Where do we put it? Where do we put it? I think maybe this top skill. Which is the only one we can summon two ferocious dread stalkers. That sounds badass. Um we need to find one more. Hound. I'm not going to start another quest, even though, man, I could sit here for another five hours. Except for the fact my voice is disappearing. Oh, it requires herbalism. When do I learn crafting skills? Wait, this isn't the town. No, I don't want to complete more quests. I'm going to kill a hound, and then I'm going to use my, my stone to teleport back, because I've never done that. I never used my my hearthstone. I still just want to say hearth. Hearth sounds dumb. Sounds like I'm trying to be posh. But hearth sounds like I'm throwing up somewhere. Hearth. That is... let's try this. Ah, oh, cool. I don't see... any hounds. Learn some crafting skills from this crafting trainers. Oh, it's not later in the story where you learn. I have to actually know to go to them. Or there'd be like a quest. 
Oh, this got soul shards, okay. And it's so cool. Rah. Cool. Then I'm gonna do this. I'm just rubbing my little stone. Ooh. Where did I learn? Where did I get that quest? So how do those crafting skills and things work, right? Do you only have... Like a limited... Oh, hang on. Let's... Wait, who wanted... No. Who wanted... Um... Oh, this dude. Oh no, this is reporting about the... About the Worgen dude, right? Find and kill five Worgen infiltrators, okay. Worgen can hide in shadows, oh shit. Oh no, invisible Worgen. Where is... In here? Can only learn two skills at a time per character. Oh shit. Hmm. I don't know if there's gonna be any point in like being solo. It feels like it would be good if you're like in a guild and you help out your guild mates, but They'll is there any point? The is there any point in when you play solo to have like skills like that? Maybe for money? Like, can you craft items that are better than stuff you can find? Something like that. How do I get up there? No. Oh. This is not a safe staircase. Oh, it's an evil dwarf. I might trust a rifle, you'd be as good as dead. Oh, it's not an evil dwarf. It's a good dwarf. He just looks a bit... Dodgy. Uh... Why do we give him an ale? I don't even know. Oh. Why does this guy have that icon? Oh, directions. I don't know what quest that was about. You can make your own armor and potions and stuff, okay. Is Satch killed? Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> I can be my own guild master. Make a guild for not doing any guild stuff, yeah. No one's allowed to join, no one's allowed to talk to me. It's just me. Me and my guild. Okay. I am just going to keep going and keep going and keep going, but I can't because it's Wednesday and it's almost 11 and I have stuff to do. Because unfortunately, even though I don't have a life, I do have a job. That fucking sucks so much more than playing World of Warcraft. But okay. I'm assuming I'm going to spawn over here. Come on, go back to that screen. Press that end button. Should I do this one? Oh no, that's too big. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this has been a long night. And I am tired. But it was fun. I don't know why I'm having so much fun. It's just fucking World of Warcraft, right? And I'm playing solo. I don't like MMOs. What's going on? I just like the busy work of it, I think. I like the just running around doing shitty quests. That are, I don't know, not important. If you log out inside the inn. Oh, it's inside the inn. I, I forgot which game had that. What did Final Fantasy XIV have that as well? But I probably don't want the extra experience right because I'm doing every single side quest I can find and 
free accounts only up until level 20. So the faster I level up, the faster it's either over or I need to start paying. <laughs> but... I could... No, I like the Warlock. I'm having fun with the Warlock. I was going to say I could try another, another character next time. Probably could, right? But maybe next time we'll play something else again. I don't know what. Um, also don't know when. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not at all. As usual, it all depends. On whatever's happening and whatever's going on. But okay. Hope everyone has a great night. A good rest of the week until my return. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's a very nice, very chill. Okay. I forgot to do the whoosh. I need a sound effect for that. So I can go like this. Okay, it's gonna be a jump scare. <laughs> and I can go 